the segue or you have the sole read on these players. But yeah, headed up to the stand. We got Silver King on that P1 side and Rose Gold Rex. So we got Hyde versus Sarugi. Okay, the schoolboy is going at a brawl right now yeah. during lunch break. Honest boy, uh, honest boy matchup right here. Um, I, I can't even say that, dog. Ain't nothing, ain't <laughs> I was going to say, don't, about these characters. Don't, don't let the uni players hear that, bro. No, no. Don't I, let me <laughs> hear that, bro. I run into Hyde. I just like, I dread the next two games. I'm like, help me, dude. Oh, yeah. All the Garfield haters in chat are just, are just <laughs> getting the copy pasta. The high copy box. Isaac fans ready. come in. Oh yeah. Um, no, this is this is kind of a funny matchup though. Like uh, obviously the shield, you got to be real respectful of the shield in some yeah. of these situations as Hyde. But at the same time, like Hyde can kind of party when he wants to. Like big exactly. buttons, pretty good six B, um, good fireball. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited to see what we got here in round one. Hell yeah, game there for one. Is. I think it's super easy to be like, oh, Silver King on the Hyde, right? You know, you have some really good projectiles, but of course we have that armored stance that's really gonna, you know deter you from trying to send out 2FF and a lot of these orbiters in neutral. Yeah. But Hyde still has incredible buttons as well, as well at every range. So it's not oh. just projectiles that you need. Tapped on the toes with the 2A and 100 meter build here for Silver King. Yeah, huge drop there from Rose Gold. Oh, that's going to put you in the blender. Oh, big, all right, big miss on the dash C. Ooh. And we're still going to get the frame trap. If we don't drop the route, big dog, please. Oh. I'm begging you. I'm it, begging you. It's okay. 10 a.m. I get it. We're still waking up here, saving the meter for it. Just trying to be meter economical. Oh, no. And tapped oh, yeah. on the toes here. Finds the punish with a 2A. And that's a clean first round with 200 in the bank for the next. Now Rose Gold does not have 100 meter to no. the 236C on round start. He's going to go for the low <laughs> off the charge J or, uh, 2C, though. That's yep. kind of nice. All right, let's go. Just fall from the skies. Tries to go for the 6 6B, but instead gets a BDP straight to the face. Yeah, still can play. Okay, Ooh. there it is. I like that patience there from Silver King. Just waiting for the overextension by Roll Gold to finally go yep. in. Not wanting Ooh. to overextend into that charge shield. Yes, sir. Yeah. Just barely missed the 2A, catching on the landing, but a little bit too plus for your own good throw whip in your face. But after the back, though, we're just going to send it ADP into the Pogo. There it is. All right. Still able to get the dash B after. Dog, we are dropping left and right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I don't hate the CS right there. Like, gold uh, or uh, silver. Silver, Jesus. <laughs> what are colors, dude? Green shield right there. Kind I of uh, messing it up a little bit. But. I mean, Silver King is oh. in the blue and red. Rose Gold Rex is in the light blue. So I understand the confusion. We got RGB all over the place. <laughs> and we have a game one for Silver King. Whew. All right. Yeah, why is the dash C that time? Jumping over it. And not that time, though. Not able to get the full conversion. Oops. And once again, charge 2C into the low after. Dog, okay. we are getting so much mileage from that. Please do not drop this combo. Carry to the corner. Oh, there we go. Keeping it easy this time. Yeah. Ooh, feeling a little bit better going into game number two. Again, we've seen so many BDPs just in that first game. Still finds the mash out here. No punish. Yeah, Rose. Oh, there it is. Got to punish that no! one. Yeah, big drops. Big drops. Yeah. Rose Gold isn't buffering uh, 214A or B, I think, after the, the shield charge. Like, that's the easiest conversion, I think, to go for command grab after that. Yeah. Leaving a lot of damage on the table. Yeah, I think sometimes these anti-air confirms, you know, they're just a little bit above the ground after the DP, so you're not particularly ready for the punish. Try and go for that normal route and ends up dropping, drop to the ground, and Silver King finds another hit. You can't be whipping that straight in front of his face, and now it's one more round to take it. There it is, the uh, the preferred round start option of all Sarugi players if they yep. got the meter. Still gonna get pressed on after the 2C. Yeah, got a rebeat after that one. Ooh, sliding on through. Okay, there it is, yeah. So that, that shield in neutral is so good for shutting down these like mids that Hyde wants to throw out. Yeah. And now we finally get to run the game plan. No, no cancel off the 6-6-B. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Hyde's turn. Ooh, we dashed it on through. We actually Woo! avoided the DP. But again, leaving so much damage on the table, feeling a little awkward with these DP punishes. But finally finds the counter hit. Rose Gold Rex, we got to confirm to the corner. All right, even off the A starter, we're still going to get some... Yeah, okay, damage on the meter. No! Misses the extension after. Yeah, I don't, I don't even think you could get 6-6-B six, uh, six, six after that. We've already used it in the combo. Yeah. Trading off the low. It's still going to get the trade combo. Here we go. Rose Gold. Might be able no. to close it out, but if you don't drop it! Oh, uh, wanted to be economical about the meter. Should have just spent the 100 to kill, but all good. Counter hit 2B, puts a round on the board. It is still set point Silver King. There we go. All right, Rose Gold finding some footing here. But yeah, just, just runs right into the brick wall that is high. And we're going to get the punish on the drop combo, leaving, once again, a ton of damage on the table, though. Yeah. All right, Ooh. does it tech the yellow throw? Spend the meter for the extension. No! Tries to go for a cheeky little cross-up, drops the combo, and tries to salvage the situation. But 2 3 6 c so far away, it's not going to reach on the full screen. Here we go. Finally gets the conversion. Yep, keep... Oh, no! Missing uh -oh. the 2C after again. We yeah. pop the up forward. Oh, my goodness. And Silver King has to play respectful Whoa. and neutral. There it is. Finally wise to the J2C shenanigans. 
One more hit should be enough to close out the set for Silver King. Ooh, dog. But it's not enough. Abari 2A, but once again, dropping the combo, leaving them the table. ADP to Pogo King. It's Hilda. Having she TPs out. Yeah. You. yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, she v That's the, the Hilda classic. That's right? a, you just yeah. send VO and escape. <laughs> and then get out, and it's like, that's the backwards help. DP, teleport out, get out of there. Yeah. Yep. This character is such a menace if you are not ready. Um, But I don't know. We'll see. Eltham's got the tools to do it. We'll see if Y can finish it off against Komet, brother. But right now, Komet, this is, this is the Komet show right here. Trying yep. to lay down the gloom. Ooh! Shot out of the gloom. No, no, no. You're all the way across the screen. Oh, we're just yeah. going to challenge here. All right. Six exceeds into the shots. Clean on the enhance. 100 meter available. Send to FF. Full screen. Yeah, there it is. All right. Send the skewers. Yo. It's a barbecue, bro, down here in Daytona Beach. It sure is, especially with this character on the screen, dog. Yep. So many ways to catch you out. Charge JC just to get it. No. Oh, the fade away drive by. No full combo, but see, once again, you got to get in now. <gasps> no. Okay, didn't confirm it to the C laser. All good, though. Oh, okay, it's looking less than good. Dog, these drops. These these drops are killing me this morning. I know I know, y'all yeah. still wake it up, but exactly. like, we, we got we to gotta lock in this morning, gang. All right. Komet able to close it out against Y in game one here. Dive kick whiffing and still able to get the buttons after. Yep. And just still playing this optimal spacing game right here. Like even if you have gun, you, like like you said earlier, you gotta commit. You gotta commit to C laser. And if the exactly. timing's not right. Oh, crowd huge. shield opened up on the assault. JC just run up, bait out the shield. This is such a good starter for Y. Yeah, we also have no meter in the bank for oh. Komet, brother. Right, so we're so behind on that EX. I'm, I'm looking at the bullets right now, dog. Why? Yeah, you you can't. You have Ooh. to use that to reload. Misses the act of reload. The yeah. Gears of War was not on point, <laughs> so we're not going to get the purple bullets here. Yeah, spend the CS. You got to take this to reload. Never Ooh. mind. Pressure reset. Gets pressed on, though. Not able to convert the combo. Yeah, we were autopiloting into the pressure, but we left two hits on the table. Both of them would have been lethal. 200 available for why? No. Okay. Caught up with the linchpin. Just sending out the skewers. And there oh. it is. All right, yeah. This, that is one of the options, like, if, if you get the right read full screen against Hilda, you can't just send the laser out and try to either take those bullets back or just go right in. Exactly. Ooh, there we go. All right, caught up here by Komet. One round of peace. Relatively even on the meter situation, but why trying to make something of it while you have the 100 meter advantage? <laughs> Dude, that teleport fadeaway trips me out every time. Yeah. I'm like, where'd she go? Why is the camera moving? Oh, she's on the other side of the screen going for these shields to try and steal the cycle back. And so much grit in the tank, you're so comfortable just sending the FF. Goodness, there it is. Assault right in, and it's the flip kick that's going to do it. All right, please do not drop. You need the combo here, and you need those bullets more than anything. Oh, my goodness. All right, 5 in for the reset. Yellow throw goes untapped. Yeah, this is so rough, right? One bullet in the chamber, one shot, one kill. Whip the 3C, but send it with the EX laser, the full reload, all enhanced, but still not going to confirm the combo. One touch apiece. Come at, brother. What do we do? There it is, the big spike to close it out. All right. <laughs> I like using that. Oh God, what what is that move? The big arrow hit is that? Is that interference or what is it? The the, the ground. I think it's Revenant yeah. Pillar, uh, six six C or two C two two C or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. Full screen low, full track, and great way to check your opponent when they're doing stuff, especially against Elton, which is trying to seal a reload. Yeah, evil work. Pick up on the spike, especially because you're looking for a lot of these overheads as well from Hilda. You're like, oh okay, let me be predictive about when to stand block, and all of a sudden you're getting sniped from all the way across the screen. That's the scary thing about these like really good Hilda players. They're always looking for you to stand up, try to catch you with that two two C. Yep. Here we go. Ooh, all right. The 6 b ran right past the dead zone. Okay, clean Ooh. started for Y, but again, another drop. All right, yeah, CS, I like that. Block, recognize minus. CS, yep. go in, take the space back. Ooh. Dog, Komet is, like, capitalizing on these scrambles with the 5A presses. This yeah. is kind of nice. Yeah, he's just waiting for the ricochet shot to make purchase. Dive kick to avoid the trajectory. Dive kicks everywhere. Yeah, there it is. The, the whip has been... Crucial for Y at that range. Yeah. Catch a commit standing a few times, and it's just gun to start it out. Spend the meter. Not able to get the wall bounce conversion, but we're able to continue the pressure. There's the anti air for Komet resetting to full screen. Yeah, we got a lot of shields coming out there from Komet as well. Really threatening the grid cycle right now, and Y not threatening a grid break throw as well. Ooh. Send the gloom with the overhead. Try and bait out the stand shield, but nothing found. Low catching out. Yeah, the fast option catching the Ooh. jump. Not quite an anti here, but good enough. And there's the meaty catching the jump out. Able to control the corner, checking the C laser, and Komet on set point after that dog. That was a little scary for why. Yeah, we saw the super flash, and I really thought the C laser was going to go right on through. Snipes the start up here. One more round, 100 meter available. We're immediately sending it into 2-2-C. 
All right, blocking the pillar that time. Still caught on the assault. That's doing a really good job of checking these assaults from Y. Oh, no, but not doing a great job of spacing out the 6-6-Bs. Y taking to the aggressive, finds the dead zone, but still forced back out here to this awkward mid-range. Oh, finally finds the jump in. Here we go. Y's got to get the full corner carry. There's the gun. Drops it once again. How are you resetting every time there? Like, Komet is ready to try to capitalize on the scramble, and why Meaty's on the way down with yep. 5A, like, almost every time. Ooh, there it is. All right, you know that was a miss input, but we are absolutely going to take that. that crossed up by the TP, we up. did yeah. EX whip, and all of a sudden we're like, wait, I do have that move. Let me use it to drop the round winning combo. You need literally any hit right here. Please, please, please do not throw this in the bag. You will be thinking about that all day. 100 meter in the bank. You want to live for one more game. And now it's 100 for command. Sends it on the back spike. That hit very nearly Ooh. lost Y, the Vorpal Cycle, but it's the gun that's going to close it out. And you see, yeah, you see the <laughs> sigh of relief right there. My dog that's was That's what like, they both I looked like after winning that. their games. They were like, Ooh. Yeah. Wipes oh the sweat God. off the brow. I don't know what we caught there, right? Because it wasn't counter hit, but I don't know, maybe the startup of something. Either I way, game I three. It. I'm not going to lie. No, yeah. <laughs> Hard to tell. Sending a lot of these 6 6 Bs. I think Kabet Brothers trying to slow down the pacing in between those because a lot of times we've been caught out with a lot of these run up assaults to catch out these dead zones. Now we're sending out the you know 45 degree skewer to catch that approach. I think we're seeing some matchup in experience here from Y. That, yeah. that big like triple spike that Komet's doing, that is definitely punishable by gun full screen. I'm yep. pretty sure, and Y is not ready to punish it. Ooh. And this is looking like a perfect for Komet. One more interaction, and there it is. One more time, set point for Komet, brother. All right, both of them outside of that 100 meter threshold, just looking for the walk back. Any way to try and whiff punish here. Oh, again, once again, sending these skewers at the full screen, making it so you're a little afraid to start sending out the ricochet shots. Dog. All right, we're in. Green shield to force it back. So good at that range. Taking a couple stray hits. Yep. Y is just fighting for their life right now. Dog, you got to steal the cycle. Please focus on not getting hit. Oh, no. Yeah, once again, pick up with the spike. 100 meter available. Just run up on the overhead. Yeah. Komet, brother, looking at the pseudo perfect right now. CS still available. Take to the skies with the 9JA. Oh, all right. Yeah, spend it. Spend the whole thing. Dog, no. This. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's all good. Who's worried? Not me. It's all good. Everything's okay. Like Johnny earlier. Yes. Always, always a big help. Um, and we're, we're going to get right into this game. Um, la lazy Lays. Lazy Laze. Lazy Laze. Oh, Down here so by the beat. Wait, are we mashing on this game? That's insane. Yeah. No, oh, they got to be clean. besties. This has to be a team kill. No, nah, this is a button check, bro. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's not even Tsurugi I, I Maybe they're just being checking. funny. Yeah. Yeah, 2B looking good. Now you gotta test that. Oh, you gotta is test 6-6-B. Six, six what are we doing here? Is, it, is this an actual match? Are they just, do they just not know combos? What's happening? All right. Well, I don't know. I, we I still go. Going okay, in. Okay. Yeah, we're going in. Let's go. We're brawling. All right. Lazy Laze got a little bit of combos going here. All right. Not able to get the full conversion. Doesn't block the jump in, but mm, yeah, Jukebox Johnny will not, not to get the conversion. Ooh. That move, 6-6-B, six, six, dog. Talk Aww. about new player traps. Like, you, you can get smoked by that so easily. First it's tricky. hit hits low. Second hit goes way too high. Yep. You're like, oh, I jumped over the low. Time to take my turn. And then the low anti-airs you on the follow-up. Yeah, that triggers on whip. I'm like, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is a great right. starter. Yeah, 2C into a command grab. Here we go. Yeah. That's. Uh, Maybe yeah. we just took a sec to warm up here. I understand. But damn, really oh, matching on the skins right now. Oh, no. Tries to take to the skies. But once again, Lazy Laze doing a pretty good job of looking for the anti-airs. Yeah, that was that was a mighty clean ants here. All right, another C starter. Are we gonna get the combo? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Ooh. All right, coast to coast. Spend a little bit of meter. Not not really optimal, but that's totally fine. DP's Ooh. gonna come out, catch the uh, the buttons there yeah. from Lazy Laze. Probably looking for a frame trap option there, but just sending the two three six C jukebox drum. Oh, you spent the hundred to get out, but pushed right back into the corner from whence you came, caught out. And once again, Lazy Laze able to take another round, and that's game number one. All right, we're starting to see the combos lock in. Yeah, when, once you start ca early canceling to that ADP, we're, 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 we're starting to feel a little better. Yep. Um, Anti-air attempt, read the jump, and just a big whiff here from Lazy. Jukebox John, dog. Oh, my goodness. Not Just, like, low-key not blocking low right now. Or as I say that, finally blocks the 6-6-B <laughs> six, six and gets caught by the 2-2-C two, two <gasps> instantly. Big drop in the corner. We're going to find a spot to get out. Set the trap. Yeah, the full screen stand shield, not sure exactly what we were looking for there from Lazy Laze, but lost a little bit of tempo. Able to have Jukebox John up against the corner, but the back throw incident once again. Oh, J6Z. 
Yeah, kind of lucky you did not get full wall bounce or full combo there on uh, J60. That would have been real bad. Do you have the meter to spend? Yes, sir. Still not enough to kill. Yep. Needs one more stray hit, and there it is. It's the charge 2C. Like, looks like Jukebox John is like trying to jump out of pressure, just poke yep. out of these wrong spots. Like, you really have to have to respect that uh, 2C from Sarugi, especially once the rebeats start coming out. Like, exactly. Armored on on uh, charge. It's I don't know. That button is scary, dog. Yeah, keeping the combos relatively simple. I understand. Just lock down in the corner. Make sure you have your meaty. Yeah, it's fine to leave a little bit of damage on the table as long as we can contain the scramble. Trying to contain you jumping out of the corner. Finds a hit, but no full. Confirm you're from Lazy. Laze, but a lot of meter on both sides. Had to spend the CS to make it Ooh. safe. Wake up. Here it is. Are we just going to take some damage? Yeah, oh. I was going to say. No setup inbound, but that's okay. Instantly gets pressed on. Do we have the full conversion to kill? Has to dump 100 no. meter and misses the dash. Yeah. Oh, no. Might add one more ground bounce in the table, but 6C is going to seal it out here for Lazy La Zay. Yeah, looked a little shaky there in the beginning. Yeah, but clean into Spider Jail, into a really advantageous knockdown situation. So it's being able to get out of the layers of offense that Big Black's going to be able to present. That is going to make this an uphill battle. Or we're going to head on into a game number one connect versus Big Black. Oh, there it is. It, that was, I don't know, dog. Dash C, Dash C is different, bro. Yep. Um, and one, one of the other things about this matchup that I think we're going to see a lot of is Big Black playing the spacing game. Uh, not to say his DP, like, pretty much goes straight up, if I remember correctly. Does yeah. not have a lot of good horizontal range. So, like, if you if you can play around that spacing well enough, Connect is going to have a real good high time, uh, hard time coming yep. out. And there's the spider jail you were talking about right here. And this is the range you want to play at. Just force it. Come on, make a mistake. Ooh. Yeah, tried to keep you locked down with the extra lows, but didn't want to clear that standing web. 2-2, two, two, not going to work out here. And the big 2C allows Connect to escape. And not only that, swap up the corner. All right, little Diskoki here. Ooh. Yeah, empty jump throw. We talked about Big Black, Black taking the throws earlier. Yep. Connect representing that early. Dash C, dog. Dash C, and you died for that. That's actually it. We got 200 meter, and it wouldn't surprise me if Big Ooh. Black doesn't spend a single bit of it. Yeah, it is, it is so tricky, right? We don't think about Dash C about being this, uh, you know, dedicated anti-air button, but really reaching the range where Connect is trying to go for this light jump back into the uh, 214B. Yeah, great. Yeah, there it is. The hit scan. What is that? 2-2-2-C? Two, two, two two, two is that yeah. one? All right, all right, all right. Sending out the claws. New move in this version that's really yeah. good. Just a, you know, 100 meter for full tracking is pretty good. I can't believe they bought this character, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah. couple changes to the webs as well, but I don't think we're complaining about the 2-2 two, two series. Once again, sniped off by the claw. Yeah, this is it. Big Black has the meter to do it. Spider Jail is imminent. Ha oh, no. All right. Was that another reset or was that a drop? I don't know. Hard to say because it was the exact same drop that we saw earlier on the 6-6-B. Yeah. But either way, caught up in the corner. Not going to drop it this time. Spider Jail available with so much meter in the tank. Yeah, there's the meter. You got Vorpal, too. You're going to take the cycle here again. It's a good spot. Blocks the overhead. Spends the CS instantly. And we do tech throws here. Absolutely. Connect getting out. Utilize those movement options. Okay, I like the use of the TK Fireball into immediate EX just to make sure we can try and snipe out any attempt at the 6 6 The Big Black just holding on strong, saving the meter to look for lethal here. Once again, no drops on the table. 200 meter in the tank. That should be the kill with the 2 3 6 That's game one, Big Black. The spacing game with 2C right now for Big Black is immaculate. We've seen, yeah. like, Nadase has got some good buttons, right? Yeah. You saw that initial poke out where, like, completely cleared out Big Black out of Spider Jail. Yep. Like, dog, Big Black instantly adjusted and got the whiff punish game going early. Nice. Now, I'm liking this adaptation, right? We're sending out the fireball, looking for the tumbleweed, and then all of a sudden we float back to avoid the dash C. But now, once we're able to survive that interaction, lost a little bit of space in the mid screen and wasn't sure what to do next to open up Big Black. Big Black secures Celestial here. Oh, this all right, this might actually kill, dog. If you have the route for this, Celestial, obviously you got the damage buff on top of the already big Vorpal damage buff you get. And we are about to get 200 meter here for Big Black. Just yeah. just choosing the Oki. Yeah, all right, we take that, we take that. He's good. He's not Double looking Celestial. for the Twitter clip today. Yeah, just really seal out the cycle. The micro walk back into the 5A, baits out the throw. Nothing found. It does not connect. And now connect one round away from being sent down into the loser side. Okay, there it is. Great round start option to check the, uh, I don't know what Big Black is going for right there, but it worked, and we are going to get it. You might be able to get a little, yeah, there's the disco key. Yep. Okay, a lot of overheads. Just so many good air saw options. There's that force function we were talking about earlier. Yeah, I like what we're seeing from Connect, right? Getting a little bit greedy, empty assault uh, throw just to try and open up Big Black. Shows that, all right, I'm not afraid. I will actually put a little bit of gaps here, make you try and respond, but is able to escape the corner. Clean side swap, 200 meter. That patient defense dog, waiting for the throw tech and able to capitalize on the post tech situation yep. every time. 
And here's the mid range. Go ahead. I dare you. Try to DP again, dog. I dare you. I got Celestial. Yep. It's the third Celestial we've seen from Big Black. Big drop, though. Oh, yeah. Awkward on the spacing to try and pick up with the 3C. But if it doesn't work once, let's do it again. Looking for the dedicated anti air. But again, another drop. So much meter on both sides. But it's Celestial. Big Black. Anything could kill. Just the utter control in every single aspect of this game from Big Black. Controlling the neutral, controlling the cycle, controlling the mental game. Yep. And at the end, controlling all four of those rounds. Big Black looks completely unfazed here in pools. Yeah. Damn. I think Connect's got the smile on his face, too. He's like, I, he I am aware that you are one of the goats. I yes. was close. I think there was one doing uh, steak chips and a bunch of other you know, assorted meat varieties. I think there was like a dessert one too. So if you guys are here at CEO 2024, you're watching from your rooms this fine morning, make sure to stop on by. There's a lot of good food options and a lot of good character variety as we head into our next match. Sarugi back on the stand for Interceptor and Batista coming out from Brady. Here we go, the first Batista sighting of CEO 2024. Yep. Uh, this character, uh, from talking to some folks, apparently feels a little more volatile than previous versions of the game, yeah. but if you're playing her right, she's still a menace, and we are absolutely gonna punish the C follow-up off the stance here. Brady well, thought the flash kick was gonna close it out, but yeah. still needs one more hit. Exactly. Oh, there we're just playing is. for the meter game. We just yep. wanted to build up the full 200, keep it economical, and yeah, like you're saying, right, Batista was already uh, a very high investment character, even when she was the strongest in some of these other versions, but yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, it's a complex game plan, a lot of ways to kind of drop it. And maybe not getting quite as much reward as she used to. The gems are a lot more interactable, but we haven't seen any of them coming out from Brady, right? We're just keeping you locked down with lasers and orbs. Yeah, hasn't needed to. Um, I don't, how do you approach a girl with uh, with a flash with kick and, and, and gems? Dude, exactly. I don't, I don't know. And right now, it looks like Intercept is having a rough time figuring out, too. Brady's zoning game is Woo! on point. Finally schmoozes their way under using that oh. force function stance, but it's back thrown to the corner. And yeah, that was read it a mile away. Yeah. Spent the meter on the CDP, and that is going to do it for game one. Brady looking <laughs> clean. Yeah, yeah, look back. Brady looks back at the, the crowd. Did the homie see goes, that? All right, cool. What do you do? <laughs> Hell of it. You saw that laser? You saw that gem? Yeah. No, there was no gem. No That's a check, just to make sure you're watching along. All right, B, flash kick. Once again, to start it off, Interceptor trying to take to the skies, getting a couple good answers uh, off of the FF, but once again, they were just leaning into the buttons. I was quite sure. Oh, you were looking for the follow-up. Didn't want to get frame-trapped. Okay, yeah. I'm like, I thought that was punishable, but no, 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 no. You missed the follow-up. Exactly. All right, here we go. Interceptor finally getting something Ooh. rocking here, but drops the combo, and Brady reads the right spot to rip that flash kick one more time. Ooh. The low to check the force function, that is how you deal with that. Yep, you got to go for the lows. Barrier breach. Can't just be making your way in. Of course, you have a lot of low crush options out of the, uh, you know, FF follow-ups. Oh, tried to escape the corner, but the forward attack from Brady allows you to escape. The 236C runs right into the orb. Yeah, that's got armor, bro, but that is not going to help you when your health is that low. Yep. Especially oh. from that far away. Tried to bet it all on the laser IW. We're uh, we're wish confirming here. It's fine. 200 meter in the bank. Tries to run up for the FF, and once again, 2C snipes you. I wish y'all could see the player cam right now. Interceptor has like the most dire He's look locked of traces is locked in, trying to get in. And Brady is over here another day at the office. My goodness. There it is once again. Finds the slide follow up, but misses the combo. All right, respect the flash kick that time. And oh yeah, that's it. It's Jover, brother. It's Jover, the flash kick punish. Or flash kick punish. Jesus, DP punishes. Yep. Gonna get smoked by the flash kick. Excuse me. And Brady is going to take Brady. Brady. Brady <laughs> is going to take that yep. very convincingly over interceptor. That's Batista looking kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. Yep. Pretty basic, all things considered. Very simple zoning game plan. We didn't really see like a lot of like the the, the barely over the ground uh, re overhead resets from like B drill yeah. and stuff. Oh like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Yeah, but kept it simple. You didn't need it. You didn't. Up there doing it. The Gordo double Gordo mirror. Let's see it. Shades of Deep versus Star, but no, we got Yagami versus Suzuko Wave headed up for our next match of Winners Pools. Oh, all right, Gordo. This is a champion right here. Everybody swears Gordo's low tier, but that does not stop me from getting hit by that force function right there. The yep. claws do that. That goes full screen. That is so hard to deal with. Okay, Suzuko Wave in the red, working so well in this health bar already. We got the Archer Palin. Okay. Yeah, this is this is how this match is gonna go, I think. Yeah, until finally one of them gets hit by the spinning scythe right here. Yep. Full combo in the corner, Suzuka Wave. Gonna try to get something going here. Come hand grab, of course. Don't do three of Sims in a row. Oh, no, man. checked on the dome with the 6B. Oh no, dropped the combo. That would have killed. Yeah, you gotta CS that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah keep that pressure coming. Wow, space the 3C out perfectly. Here we go to the slide. <gasps> 6B, yeah, a little bit too spaced out. Ambitious way to try and make your way in on the mid screen. Lots of meter available for Yagami, but one HP in a dream wow. finds the scythe. Looks like called out the command grab right Ooh. there. Good stuff. Suzuka Wave is still going to take that first round, though. Yep. 
Yeah, got to cancel that. Make it safe. All right. No tech on the uh, command throw. We uh, we do not tech yellow throws this early in the morning. Nope. 200 meter available. Oh, my God. Finds the assault jump in for Yagami. I believe the back dash there for a minute, but was just so ready to punish that with the buttons after. Yep. Yeah, there's the VO. All right. Was that the first defensive VO we've seen all morning? I think I thought we would see it when we had Hilda on the screen, but I'm no, we're saying. sending it from Suzuka. Yeah. Oh, no, but sniped out just at the end of the VO. Run out the timer here and spend the EX. And Yagami's probably going to take the cycle off that, too. Yeah, there it is. All right. You can kind of chill right here. That's the thing about Gordell. A lot of startup to some of these, so yeah. you can kind of afford to just play the frame trap game. Or the waiting game. Here we go. Ooh, we the Asim. That's huge. There it is. All right. Check on the run up low here with the assault. Is this enough that we have the meter? No! You cannot drop that. All right. Reset. It's all good. All, all right. Good. Yagami kind of scaring me a little bit, keeping us on the edge of our seats, but 200 meter going into this next round. Scramble, send out the rusty nail. <laughs> Just a little bit faster, a single frame and a single low catches you out post grid break. I know, I was really worried we'd get the clash right there, yeah. but Yagami gonna try to take the lead right here. Suzuka Wave was all Ooh. about round one, and Yagami has finally found a way to control this pressure. Gonna hold on to Vorpal, gonna hold on to 200 meter. All right, do you have the route? This should be able to kill if you have it. I don't oh. think so. I think we're gonna I think be it's just a little shy. too scaled on the CBO, yeah. Oh! Oh, Slip come in, grab in this in. Yeah. Oh, it bit it up the VO, but still stuck in the recovery. Not able to kill just yet. Suzuka wave. One HP in a dream. Spend the meter for the conversion right here. Able to take the cycle full screen. Force function is going to get the full carry for Suzuka wave. Dog, you got to capitalize on this. Still needs two Ooh. more hits. There's one. Finds a step oh, kick. It's no. not enough. One more. You're going to secure another cycle. CS still available. How are you going to use it to find this next hit? Dodge or duck right under the rusty nail, but still catches out the approach. Counter hit for Suzuka Wave. You have CS available. Does it build up the 100 to kill? All right. There it is. Spend it. Spend it again. Ooh. Not quite enough. Still needs one more hit. This is still anybody's game. And if you drop this, dog. <gasps> no! Okay. Okay. <laughs> Did you see that face? Like, I don't think either of them are happy about that man. ender, right? Both times had lethal on the board, but not quite ready to confirm a couple crucial drops. But Suzuka Wave still able to seal out game number one. All right. Make it a little space right here. Yagami. Definitely uh, definitely not feeling great about how that last one ended. Yep. Suzuka Wave able to claw back the pressure here. There's the slide for the check. Yep. Definitely a risky option here. If you miss face that, you're going to get punished. But Yagami has the maximum Ooh. spacing. Yeah, here we go. Overhead as well. We're carrying to the corner. Oh, big drop yeah. into the reset. Oh, no. We call it a drop opportunity around these parts. CS still available. So much meter in the tank. Okay, I gave up the corner. Still hold on to CS though right here. So Suzuka Wave's gonna have to be respectful of the pressure. Not respectful enough apparently. Here we go. Yeah, I thought we were gonna see Rusty Nail CS just to keep the pressure on, but no, instead gives up your turn. Suzuka Wave finds another hit. All right, yeah, this is gonna steal the cycle here. One more hit for Suzuka Wave to move themselves out to set point. Mash 2A, delay 2A, no less. Yeah, the dick jab itself. We're playing Tekken now, bro. Exactly. Watch out with a little one jab action. Tries to go up with the slide, but nothing found on Yagami's side. That 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 sight swing right there. Both of these cats have had the spacing on that. Pretty immaculate. Yeah. Here we go. Blocks the overhead that time. Oh Ooh. no, but gets instantly opened up by the low, and that is gonna be a grid break. Suzuka wave. Probably gonna be able to steal the next cycle right here. This is a rough spot for Yagami to try to get out of. Yeah, you already blocked the 6B earlier on in the block string, so I wonder why we committed to the stand shield there. But once again, caught out up against the wall. It's set point. Suzuka looking at the perfect 100 meter to your name. CS available. Any reversal should be able to seal this out. The oh. stand shield, not a punish, but we do find a hit. But nothing found. The mortal is sliding. That Suzuka wave sliding onto the next round of winner's pools. Woo. All right. Yeah, look, look at a little scary. <laughs> look at that grimace. He's like, oh. Like, man. <laughs> I, he's like, I'm glad I won that dog. That a bit sloppy, but Argent, excuse me, does not know this matchup. Um, and I'm curious, like, Wald's got the big enough buttons, but you, you still got you still got to respect Rucka at least. You guys, yeah. uh, Tatsu, Tatsu, I believe it's called. In this yep. Game. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We're getting into it either way. Ain't no button check here. Projectiles coming out. Ooh. <laughs> Invalidating immediately. Here we go. Yeah, the immediate swipe going into the fireball doesn't even want to give you the chance for some plus frames here. The Ooh. immediate shield as well coming out from Argon. See that stagger? That was a hit confirmed for sure. God press is going to carry to the corner. Yep. And yeah, it's going to be a little set play over here. Oh, we're, we're pressing out immediately. Ooh. There we go. CS available. Claw reaching at the skies, but that guy, Surfer, able to get a light confirmed. Wow, that was meaty as hell, bro. That meat, that that low was so meaty. Oh, and we're gonna get the grid break. Yeah, that's the thing. Like you, you want to shield Tatsu, yeah. right? But man, you you get the wrong read on that. You are gonna get opened up. And that guy server actually gonna take the first round here against uh, Goons Argent. Yeah, 
Shield on Tatsu, definitely a uh, committal kind of option to try and escape the pressure here. Once again, caught up by Tatsu, pushes you up against the corner. Classic fireball pressure, just trying to space you oh. out. Once again, the overhead. Arjun is getting caught, overcommitting to the shield left and right right oh. now. And there it is, 6B going to open Arjun up again. We are not blocking overheads here this morning. Yeah. Holding on to the down back, tries to mash out with a 2A. Nothing found. Argon caught up once again. That guy Surfer with 200 meter in the bank. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. AB get that smart steer ender, cash out, and that is going to do it. Dog, I might have spoke too early. I, I said top C was locked in. I might have spoke too early. That guy Surfer it, with a very clean game one against Arjun, against our top seed in this yeah. pool. Yeah, we saw the micro delay on the rematch. He looks over, he's like, wait, this... That guy, Surfer, might actually be that guy. All right, maybe we got to reassess the game plan real quick. He might Runs be in for the claw. Swipes the fireball off the screen, but no confirm off the 3C. It's the spacing game from that guy, Surfer. Like, he, he's playing it pretty immaculately. Able to get the whiff punishes. Arjun finally able to get the game plan going. It, it might be time to start representing command, some command grabs, brother. Yep. Ooh. Okay, space out on the fireball. Tries to go for the swipe on through. Has EX canceled. Baits out the parry, but no response. You're so far away. It's an awkward punish. Ah, there it is. Yeah. That's going to be a punish. Absolutely. CS recognizing the assault, gets the swipes to anti air. And Arjun is looking a ton better here in game two. Yeah. Let him know. God press again. We. Oh, no. It doesn't build the meter. Just shy. And Just that's a frame trap. Yep. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Arjun looking quite a lot better. Definitely, I was going to say more patient on the defense, but didn't really have any opportunities to show that, right? Just doing a lot better, just starting up the pressure immediately with these outstretched claws. That guy, Surfer, having a hard time playing this basic game right now. Yeah, total turnaround from what we saw game one. That guy, Surfer's jump outs are getting caught left and right. Yeah, catching the assault again. Arjun's doing a great job. I, I don't usually see people play like hit and run with Waldstein, right? Yeah. But like, look at that smirk, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I let you have that one round, bro. That was cute that you thought you were gonna win. Bro, the full beard is concealing the triple chin right now. That was crazy. <laughs> that was a smirk of all time. That was Argon is laughing to himself like a maniac no. right now. And absolutely running away with the grid cycle as well. Finds the hit, so much grid in the tank. Bro said game one was download Ooh. and game two is steal the cycle, baby. Yeah, it's Jover, dog. it's Jover. J2 just put his full head down on the table, and that's the energy that I'm feeling right now, too. Reversal to go through the meaty low. Arjun is looking unstoppable. Charging. Able to check the fireballs and nudes, too. Yes, sir. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Swept up by the claws. Once again, the micro concentrate just swiping the fireball off the screen. I'm loving the assault, JC, making it so Argon really has this opportunity to approach. And that guy, Surfer, is not adapting. How are we going to keep you out with the buttons? My dude is just playing the keep out game so well. Throwing out these big hit boxes and letting that guy Surfer just straight up run into them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Blocks the full, and that is going to be a punish. Absolutely. You cannot let that full thing rock, son. Yep. Stand shield no Tatsu. Still clean on the grid. Me. Don't even need to spend it. Maybe one more empty assault into the throw. That's a clean kill for Argon. What happened between game one and game two? Argon locked in. Game one's download, bro. So, okay. y'all, the, the, the player camp cut over a little too early. But you could literally see at the end, Arjun was just churning. That was it. Just <laughs> churning. Just like on your back. Most depth. Most depth. I will have no opinion on such balance. But that being said, I do have an opinion on the matchup. Surugi versus Wagner heading into another game. Lazy Laze versus Black Atlas. It's it's going to be a brawl, right? Both of these characters yes. want to get into your face, but also have some pretty good just outside of that close range buttons. You know, whether it's 6B or, of course, you know, a lot of these FF follow-ups oh. just trying to make your way through. 6-6B, big whiff right there. And Black Atlas is absolutely going to capitalize on that. So I lied, this is not a top 24 qualifier. Both these cats have to win one more if they okay. win this. Yeah. Qualifier for the qualifier here, setting it with the 6B. Immediately goes for the jump back. A solid tries to catch out a low from Lazy Laze, but holding on strong. Wow, representing the shield. Looking for the poke out right there. All right, Black Alice, I see you. A little risky with the, with the range that 2C goes, but that's okay. Yep. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Oh, my <gasps> goodness. Same situation we saw. Somehow going over the low of 6-6B and then just completely missing the, 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 the big um, anti-air part there, I guess. I don't know, dog. That hitbox is wild. Whiffing 6-6-B2 is, is unbeknownst to me. Huge as a commitment. gamer who gets cooked by 6-6-B. But yeah, the forward jump, huge commitment, making sure that you're avoiding that particular move. All right. But Woo. still, from the top rope, not able to get a full confirm, just goes right past the DP. Yeah, kind of getting away with murder right there. Lazy Laze. Yeah. yeah, all right, there it is. Loses to the shield charge. BDP Ender. Ooh. Oh, that was vile, bro. I got hit there, too. I'm not going to lie. That's what I'm saying. I stood blocked. Plus oh, no, hell. 2-2-C. Yep. You got, 
both these characters have armor, dog. You gotta watch out. Oh no, 5B, a little awkward of a confirm right there. Black Atlas is still gonna get the next hit though. And we might have the meter to kill, just shy, yeah. Yeah, not enough off of the DP, one touch though. Black Atlas looking for that 100% to come up once again with the CS, that's all the meter you need. So plus, yeah, and that, that's the mix-up right there, right? Like, yeah. this character doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let him know! That thumbs all right, up goes all right. so crazy. He's vibing out. My dog is jamming right now. See, this, this is why, like, I've been, I've been like, low-key big Black Atlas fan for a minute. Like, yeah, my, yeah. Dog, my dog always looks like he is having so much fun on the screen. Exactly. Absolute showman here as we head to game number two. There Tap it up is. Tap up the tech for the JA. Caught up once again. Oh no, yep. Got caught with the with the toes one more time. Double two yep. A tap. This is a rough spot Ooh. to be in. Yeah, I got hit by that too, bro. Charge the FF before 12 p.m. It's gotta be illegal, but no EX required CS just chilling in the bank. Black Atlas on set point with that perfect. This is this is looking clean right here, my dude. Oh yeah, armor right through, son. And your plus after? I think so. I think so. Yeah, that was an pressure. ambitious brown star in anti-air coming out from Lazy Laze. Maybe thinking we were gonna go for another jump back assault, but jump out of the corner for Black Atlas. Clean challenge from Lazy Laze. Lazy Laze has not had an answer to jump back assault at all. Straight up. Oh, finally! Alright. The tail end of six big six XB connects, and that is a punish. Yep. Absolutely. They're like Loki recovers pretty quick, so you got to be ready. So big up to Black Atlas for recognizing. Exactly. Easier oh. said than done. Tapped on the dome with a 6C, 200 meter to your name. Do we have the IW routing? No, CS, not enough grid in the table. Oh no, Lazy Laze almost loses to the boomer check again. That's yeah. The Plus frames off of it. J214C. We are dropping. We are dropping in 2024, dog. Oh no, and Black Atlas. <laughs> Absolutely gonna capitalize on that. Just needs one more to make that top 24. <laughs> yeah, let him. Oh no. It's Nika versus Nika time, Enkidu. Bro. Oh man. In my anime? I don't know, dog. I don't know. There it is. All right. The Enkidu classic. Utilize some of that armor. And RK0 off to a, uh, I would say, pretty solid start. No, not with the drop though, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Punish that. Punish that. Big overhead. Charge it up. Yeah, I just realized we got the black and yellow versus the black thing. Pull up. Oh, man. Black and yellow, dude? All right. That's that's Ooh. There you go. Caught up with the charge step kick. CS right. available. All the meter in the world. Do we want to save it? Uh, with the way this round's going? No. no. <laughs> Close <laughs> it out. Close it out. Close it out. Keep it clean. Tournament yeah, combos. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, Tournament combos only. I was going to say, like, RK0 is looking dominant right there, but Veil 47 is the number two seed yes. in this pool. Oh, my goodness. I always underestimate how far that hitbox goes. 6 b my beloved. Dude, I, I, I got some opinions that I'm going to keep to myself there. All right. Oos. Just out. This character is so hard to stay locked down. Yeah, got to respect the armor, but the Veil does get the whiff punish right there. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Tricky with the walk backs here on the knockdown situation. Yeah. Situation set up the two ways though. All right, here we go. Yeah, the, the Mika like knowledge check classic is what six or speed command grab. Yep. Like, yeah, absolutely. You gotta be ready for that. Mika time, micro concentrate. Still, cycle goes in the favor of RK0, but you're so rough on the HP lead right now. Misses the flurry of blows. 200 meter available to send it with the tornado. Love that. Yeah, rip the DP right there. Damage is gonna close out, so as long as you find that right spot, you can afford to be patient. Yep. All right, RK0 once again instantly winning that round start. He's going to be forced to veil to the corner. No awkward drop this time. Oops. But it's going to be the VO that says, get off me. Whoa, six force function? It, again? All right, all right, all right. You know, it's a pretty good move in this version of the game, <laughs> I got to say. Lots of armor, yeah. quick guard point, and not super minus either. Yeah, you're losing a little bit of grid, but Veil losing so much health up against the corner, but we mash out with a five. A. Get the side switch here, too. Uh, yeah, we're going to hold out to CS, I think. Yeah, yeah, you win, you win the cycle anyway, so who okay. cares? Got the meter. Just try to loop it right now. CS. No, not CS. Ooh. Excuse me. Command grab. Jesus. There we go. Finds a command grab starter. So much damage on the table. It's not going to be lethal, even with the CS and Vorpal damage buff. A one touch a piece. Back dashes the 5A, but takes to the skies. Veil able to seal out game number one, but already so down to the wire just in that first match. Yeah, RK0 did a really good job of controlling the round start there. And, like, that's the hard part, right? Like, Mika has some commitment options you could do, yeah. but, like, dog, you, you got to respect this, this Enkidu champion <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, all right, all right, that'd be like that sometimes. Back throw toward the corner. Now you got to hold the pressure. Green shield means you're Ooh. hella plus. Absolutely. Here we go. Tried to match her way on out, getting caught with a counter hit. RK0 looking clean on the confirms right now and clean on the cycle. Secures Vorpal for it, too. Stagger it out. All right, so got to be aware of the overhead. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Block it out. CS to continue the pressure and just gets frame trapped. RK0 working on the perfect. We have the meter. Are we going to see the IW to finish this off? Arby's, we have the meter. Do we have the routes? Do we have lethal off of the IW? 
Not quite. Gonna be just shy. Yeah. Back dash. Oh, so 6-6-B. Six, six, yep. Very smart. Very good read on the situation off CS there for Vale. Uh, still, you are one match two way away from getting smoked 6-6-B six, six, again. All right, all if right. If it worked once, let's do it again. But let's drop the combo to try and reset you over to the corner. 200 meter available. Vale. I don't know. I think we're trying Swoop. to save it for the IW lethal routes to see if we can close out the round. I don't know if it kills, though. One more. Need, yeah. need definitely need one more hit right here. And there it is. If you mess up that Oki, you are going to get smoked. RK0 finding the perfect spot to poke out. And they have a chance to tie this up here. Yeah. All good, though. You still have a 100 meter advantage going on Vale's side. One more hit into the IW could give you such a big life lead going into round number two. Oh, finally gets a throw bait right there off the assault in and Veil 47. Gonna hold on to the cycle. Gonna hold on to that meter too, yeah. Yeah, off of the assault starter, maybe just thinking, okay, I want a little bit better. I want to also be able to threaten, threaten the 100 meter options as well. Yes, all right. So, like, not representing the tricky option right there. No command throw, already saying, all right, you're, I'm gonna get mashed on here, so I gotta keep it real. All right, all right, no big deal. Mid-screen, Veil still sitting on a perfect right here. Run forward, force to the corner. And RK0, oh no! I thought it was holding the whole thing, but not really. Losing the cycle off this. Yeah. You are one more hit away, my friend. There it is. Spends the CS to confirm, and Veil47 has held on to 200 meter for so long at this point, dog. <laughs> Barely even spent anything. That is insane. Round Star Tornado has the EX to pick it up off the Mika missile. Ooh, no catch on the back dash, though. RK0 able to take his turn, but more costs and the Earthquake. Oh, okay. Was looking for the whip punish right there, but like able to block it there. And here is Celestial coming out for Veil 47. No, drops the combo. Resets the command throw. Okay. Oh, and with Celestial behind it too. Look at all the meter we just generated. Gonna be the 200, but we drop the combo in the corner. We 6 6 B ourselves back up against the wall. RK Server, you have to make a miracle happen right now. You gotta hold the corner right now. For, like Big focus right oh. now. Trying to steal the cycle back, and that should. Uh, I don't think the combo is gonna be long enough. Ooh. Fail 47 might wake up CS right here to try to get something going. Yeah, extend this as long as you can. There it is. Wake up CS. Yep, CS so, 5A. The pressure. Oh, you knew you had enough health to survive it, so might as well look for the Abari, but still stuck up against the corner. The immediate CS, but it's not enough to open up Veil just yet. So many shields coming up, trying to accelerate the cycle and get the CS back as soon as possible. 200 meter about to be on deck. Goes right past the 6FF. Mm, love the guard point and respectful. Yeah, 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 that's so chaotic. Spends the, spends the CS to continue this pressure. Yep. <laughs> Dog, these cats are fighting for their life. And there it is. Six force function connects. Doesn't have enough meter to kill here, though. Oh, but we spent the 100 no. just to put you right in throw range. Bounce off the wall, clean on the Oki, tries to go for it one more time, but Veil vale finally bites. It's one apiece. That was down to the wire, dog. That Again? was down to the wire. We got the thumbs up, too. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Shout out. Here we go. NQ game. Yep, heart on the snack box, heart to the camera, and heart on your sleeve as we head to game number three. Let's see it. There it is, RK0, wow, okay. I'm not sure if that was a frame trap or a whiff on it. <laughs> Either way, RK0 is gonna have to hold this corner pressure yet again. No, ain't holding anything, dog. Nope. We're just getting out. Ooh. Steal the cycle too. Yeah, all right, all right. So not quite coast to coast right here. That is so dirty, dude, yeah. <laughs> uh, little air style action, a double Mika missile catches you out with the CS for full, confirmed to the corner. Risky option, but using CS to hit confirm and cover that on block, so smart, here yep. we go. Uh, 100 meter, are you gonna spend the IW to kill here? I don't think so. Oh no, we're oh, doing okay. it, we're doing it. All right, here we go, here we go. Uh, meter refund too, yeah, yeah, we'll take that. Veil 47 once again sitting on set point and RK0 fighting for their life. Really wants Woo! to make top 24 on winners. Yeah, I mean, we've seen that RK0 has that clutch factor, right? So especially with yeah. CS behind it, a good amount of grid, we're like, all right, let me just send the IW for that guaranteed kill. Tries to go for the run up throw after the whiff 6 FF, but it's not enough time. Still finds a hit here for Veil. And like we're, we're like we're finally playing real uni here. Both these cats yep. are not afraid to block, Ooh, but oh, also oh. knows the spots to poke out. Here we go, big meter spend here for RK Zero. Coast to coast, no, not quite. Spends the CS, has to respect it. It's still able to continue the pressure. Banking on Veil, really committing to a, uh, a reversal right there. Veil choosing to just hold it. And look at this. Oh no, 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 nothing. Oh my goodness. What defense, dog? This is active defense in my house. Spend a little bit of the meter for the knockdown. Oh, it's called mashing when it doesn't work. Obari when it does 125 meter in the bank, trying to bait out something, a shield, any attempt to fight back with the CS that finds the hit. 200 meter available, a flurry of blows coming out from Veil. 47, the IW, take this man to the skies and send him back down to the loser's bracket. It's 2-1, Veil 47. 
I'll do a little golf clap for that. I'll do yeah, a little okay. golf clap for that. All right. um, no, there, there is no question about who Big Black is going to pick here. Yeah. Um, but I am curious to see if this Akoski pick is oh. real. Uh, we, we saw a little. Yeah, and it is. All right. Okay, so, no button check required. We got button assignment. We're chilling. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, dog. Like, we don't we don't need to button check in 2024. Exactly. We have the options for it. Like, I don't know. You, you tell me you need a button check on stage, and I'm, I'm giving you the eyes of judgment, bro. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm throwing it down. I'm trying to play games, bro. I'm not trying to check my buttons. Anyway, who cares? I ain't playing right now, so my opinion straight up does not matter. It's going to be Big Black versus Andre Robocop. Big Black. Pretty much the same thing we saw in the last game, I think, uh, that we saw Big Black on. Just wants to play this basic game. Akatsuki, got to gotta be aware of the parry right here. But right off the bat, Big Black giving up a ton of space. And Andre Robocop going to try to run the pressure in the corner. Here yep. we go. Playing super aggressive. I think probably pretty aware Big Black is fine. Content to just down back and try and win those first cycles to build up that 100 meter. So you have the threat of 2-3-6-C. Or when you finally find that hit, Spider Jail. But Andre keeping the pressure on J6-C once again finds the hit. Got to respect Wake Up for that reason right there. And still go for the back throw. Okay, I'm almost wondering if that was a tech attempt. Because, yeah. like, you, you know, you typically don't want to back throw Big Black out of the corner. Yeah. Either way. Probably oh. run up 1 AD, but still caught out here. The back throw gives Big Black so much room to try and scramble back up. Now a 200 meter, a full grid gauge in his tank. Still going to drop the spider gel setup. And same thing, like Big Black did such a good job of controlling Vorp on that last set, and it has been the same thing this one so far, holding on to this 100 meter. Yep. Yep. All right, recognize had the traps active, and it's going to be the free C for the punish right here. Do we have the rattling to kill? Survey says yes. Do you uh, are we going to spend though? the IW or are we going to be greedy going into the next round? That's a real question. Yeah, be greedy. Be spider jail. Oh, no. Oh, okay, we're okay. spending it. Oh, all right. I, I don't hate that. Well, wait, fail. Oh, I'm confused work. now. What is what happening happened? here? Okay, okay, that's a punish. Yeah, I was going to say. You see that big <laughs> uppercut? That's a punish. There Absolutely, we go. Absolutely, dog. All right, here we go. Big Black taking the first round here. Andre, like, kind of making a work for it, though. Respect, respect. That's what I'm saying. Ooh. There we go, J6C just going right over the 5C. Andre Robocop with a clean punish, A, B, I, W, just to secure this early life lead. That's, that's like good to take a deep breath too. If, you're, if yeah. your heart's pumping right now, take a deep breath, let the animation pump, and just think about your Oki. Ooh, there it is. Wow, big black caught swinging in 4K, and this is gonna be some decent damage from Andre Robocop. Yeah, gotta see us that uh, block 6B right here for the pressure extension. Okay, yeah, Tatsu EX Fireball just to try and keep up your turn. J6C has really been blowing you up. We've got to show throw once again. Big, big, tech. big Black has Celestial again. Big Black is, I think, the only one that's got Celestial, and he's got it like six times this, yeah. these pool series so far. Yeah, he also really likes to hold on to it for that grid control, right? We're already 200%. Yeah. Like, it's fine, I believe, in the pressure, oh. but no, not going to set up Spider Jail there. Big 2-2-C two, two to win the round from Andre Robocop here. Yeah. All right, all right. So expensive. Big Black still got the meter resources, or the, the meter lead coming into this round. But yep. you're big chilling right here. Charge the fireball. Big Black just holding on. Got the turnover for the cycle. Ooh, oh. run up and made the reflector too. No parry here. So, it, it is so hard to try to adjust to Big Black's offensive game plan. He's so good at cycling through those options. Yeah. When you get caught doing those commitment options, eh, you're, you're, you're playing with your life bar. Let's put Ooh. it that way. Charger 3C, overhead, knocks you into that top web, set it up once again with so much meter behind it. Think oh. of the cycle again, dog. Here we go, and this should be enough to kill. I don't know, I've said that three times with Big Black's on the screen, though. We might just be spending for the Oki. Just like W, my lord. Please, A, B, I, W, okay, cool. There it is, all right. <laughs> Sometimes Woo! Big Black will be uh, a little too stylish for his own good, occasionally. And it's it's one of these deals, like, when you're as confident as that man on the screen right there, sometimes it's like, no, nah, I'm going to practice the pressure. I'm going to exactly. practice the set play, dog. Like, this is what this is for. Like, you ain't you ain't defiant, dog. Like He's I'm challenging himself with strike throw, Briakia. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Big chilling, no webs required. It's spring cleaning hours. <laughs> spring cleaning hours in 2024, my guy. Here we go. Ooh. Once again, caught committed to that 2B. All right, Andre Robocop. Pretty consistent uh, follow-ups with the uh, with the Tatsu right there. Yeah. Or that axe kick. I, I'm not going to lie, I already forgot what it was. That's that move <laughs> Yeah, right J6C right. just yeah, doing yeah, so J6C, much work, sorry. catching out a lot of these low pokes coming out from Big Black. I understand we're trying to catch out the walk back, the back dash shimmy as well. No, but the immediate jump back fireball, TKEX, coming out from Andre Robocop, but still can't oh, kill even with CS. Yeah, I thought it was going to build a meter right there. But Andre Robocop seals off round one with a perfect. All right. You have you you had my attention, but now you have my interest. <laughs> all right, all right, Andre. 
All right, holding on strong. That's a really good first round, especially because Big Black, you know he's going to you know stick onto the defense. So really not trying to swing back. Built it, but sealed out the run before he even built out the 100. But now it's Celestial Big Black once again. Dog, I, I feel like a broken record saying that, but this dude this dude is so consistent with able to seal the cycle. Yep. Uh, Spider Jail one more time. Here we Ooh. go. Has Still has plenty of meter to let it rock again if you get hit. And just so happy to play around this range. So happy. Nice. Good stand block in the charts. We see. Still so much meter behind it as well, even if we want to extend our turn with the 2-2-C. No, but we're just holding on grid control to wow. lock you out of CS. Finally gets caught up with a counter hit after 15 seconds of blocking. Now 200 meter for Big Black. All the resources in the world. Andre's patience has been pretty solid so far. Like, waiting for the right time. Got the 2-2-C earlier for the reversal, but ultimately not mattering right there. Big Black's one of those cats who will absolutely just time you out if you let him. Yep. Ooh, there we go. Swept up with the 2, or 6-6-B, rather. Coast to coast one more time, 100 meter. We are gonna get that that crazy set play once again. Here it comes, got all the webs in deck, whiff throw just to really make you think twice. That's so dirty, that's that's how you know Big Black's like, all right, I'll start sweating, dog. Like, exactly. I'm gonna whiff throw, okay. Ooh. All right, no webs on the table, but still up against the corner against Big Black, finally catches you out with a 2B. I wonder if we caught out a micro dash or an attempt to try and jump out of the pressure. Either way, it's set point. Big Black, Vorpal damage bonus. We're gonna set up the spider jail. Guessing for life right here. Ooh. Overhead, and we are gonna cover with CS. Big Black said, yo, you got a perfect? Yep. I got a perfect. <laughs> Overhead, the FF into GG's. It's 2-0 for Big Black, but yeah, even with the perfect, Ooh. right? Just so content, that smile, he's like, you tried your best. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, my dog doesn't need to pop off. Just just wholesome smile, stand up, exactly. GG, shake the hand. Like We had the Grand Blue version more recently, and I think Uni2 is back on the way, but Uni2 is back on the menu once again. Another qualifier to see who stays in winners and who chills out and loses for top 24, B-Raj versus Black Atlas. All right, here we go. No button check. We're getting right into it right off the bat. Big low swing here for B-Raj forcing Black Atlas to the corner. Yep. And just playing it respectful. Yeah, you see, looking for that DP. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh no, my dog. Oh yes, oh no, 100 meter and then some build up for Viraj. Clean on the cycle as well. Might just go into this next round with 200 meter in the tank. Oh, caught that air to air, but an awkward confirm. Barely any on tech time. There it is in the low, gonna catch out Viraj. And there's that trademark quarter carry. Oh, the side switch too? Oh, wow, you pressed on the shield overhead? Okay, Black Atlas making big balls phone calls here at CEO. My That's man. Ooh. Yeah, Yo, I ready like to run up a solo setup. for the empty low, but Viraj a little bit too smart. Yeah, we saw Black Atlas represent that setup beforehand, like yeah. fake the overhead, go for the empty jump. Viraj yeah. was ready for that, gonna steal the round off the back of it. Good stop. Scout it out, clean first round for Viraj. Oh, going into it with 200 meter, that's an IW off this next hit, but Black Atlas trying to keep the pressure on. Oh, missed on the dash normal though, that's rough. All right. 200 meter apiece, fully loaded guns on both sides. Oh, now we're gonna spend it with the EX drill. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I have mixed feelings about keeping 200 meter in this game. Obviously, we've yeah. seen it work out for some of these players, but I'm a big spend it if you have a kind of cast. Especially if you have four, but you know that's coming back soon. Ooh. Yeah, this is a, so scary for Black Atlas. We missed a couple Ooh. of these dash normals, so we haven't been able to activate either of the buffs. Leaving so much on the table, it makes neutral so much harder to try and make your way on in. Viraj looking for the 6FF, but nothing no. found the dive. Doesn't get you enough. Viraj should have the 200 meter to kill. That was it, too. If Black Atlas had hit that conversion, like that would have been it. But now Viraj is going to take the first game off yep. the back of that. And both these cats laughing He's it up. He's like, all right, you're kind of nice with it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, you got it. I underestimated your game. Yo, you hit him with the heart back? OK, That's okay. what I'm saying. That's yeah. practice, bro. He has the straight lines on the elbows, too. It's clean. Oh, yeah, yeah. You you know he's done that one before. All right, all Charging right. up. And then locked in. Yo, look at that. Look at that. My man went He's IRL like, concentrating, bro. The grid cycle is, like, swinging in his favor. He just wiped all emotion off his face and said, exactly. all right, I'm locked in now, bro. Return to Zen. Oops. Damn, yeah, see, right off the bat. No, I don't know what it is with these Enki New players winning round start. Is, it, is this character really good on round start? That's I don't know, I'm man. Saying, man. <laughs> Going a little there crazy when they charge up the FF. Charge it up. Looks like caught the up back there from Black Atlas. Oh, no. Oh, Misses no. the conversion. Missing out on the perfect, but still has a massive life lead right here. Oh, off the spin. Tried to be a little tricky. Economical with the meter, but finally makes their way in with the assault. That's set point, Viraj. Viraj, are you going to send my dog to losers 2-0 this convincingly? Oh, no, 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 Black Atlas. Are you kidding me? Block stun incident off the back throw. Oh, no. Viraj going to capitalize on that. Take a big hit in the corner. There we go. Just chomping through the HP right now. Tries to go for the stomp, but caught out with jump back assault. All right. Clean from Black Atlas. 
Finally finds a 2-2-C, double buffs, has to keep this pressure on. 20 a meter, and that's a big grid break. Yeah, that's pretty much gonna guarantee Black Alice is gonna keep this next cycle. Woo, Woo! Bought the up back, but the untack out of the air made it so you couldn't get a full combo against the reset after anyway, and it doesn't matter. Black yep. Alice, one round away from tying it up, but Mirage is still on set point. There we go. I like the meter expenditure of the 2-2-C. You know, whipping those dash nobles before and not having any buffs was so huge, so back. Black Atlas fine with just spending the meter <laughs> for it. The Swallows dive just taken from the skies. The Eagle from the top rope finds the hit. Oh my goodness. Like, plowing right through that armor, too, dog. Like, you do not see that very often. Right? Ooh. Oh, yeah. See, dude, once again, we saw Black Alice doing that a ton. Jump back, assault in has worked out so well for him so far in this pool's run. Yeah, kind of remembering that that was something that was working out so well in previous sets, but runs right into the 6FF. High-hitting hitbox just to try and stuff you out. Again, the dive whipping right in front of Viraj's face. No, it's set point, and now with a big hit, counter hit, 200 meter, but doesn't even need to spend it. Biraj yeah. sends Black Atlas down to the loser side of top 24, but it's all love over here at CEO 2024. It really is. Um, the the adjustment there, so Biraj, Biraj, I think you called that out a little bit earlier, starting to jump, adjust back to the... Oh, should, it should be in the rules. You got to declare who you're playing in the commentator. Ori! All right, it's my girl right here. Okay, so, so, I... I have a lot of thoughts about this character. Yeah. I am I am a huge Aurier fan. Yep. Um, I, I like low key played her a lot when this game came out. I okay. think she's so sick. Um, she is so much stronger from the last version of the game. Yeah. But the the early consensus was she kind of got power crept. We are starting to see some of these NA Auries really step it up now. Yep. But you have to work a little harder. Like exactly. obviously, the, with the neutral skips this game has and the way she wants to play a whiff punish game. Yeah. You gotta gotta work a little bit more. So we'll see if Arjun can uh, plow right through if Metal P is going to uh, uh, control the neutral here. Either way. Arjun off to a pretty good early lead here. Gonna control the cycle and build in that early meter. Ooh. Yeah, I think the the way a lot of people are describing Aurier in this version, right? Lots of buffs, you know, has the BDB to try and escape this pressure, but Argon just staying so spaced out, so uncomfortable, letting the reversal rock and gets caught up with a 2A. Wow. The trade is not what you need. A quick first round for Argon. Yeah, we have the defensive Swiss Army Knife of Toolkits now, right? We have yes. the meterless reversal. We have a really good horizontal DP, but it's when Argon is keeping this pressure on, not able to slow down the pace of the game, but now we have thrust to EX thrust, no confirm. Uh, yeah, if Mr. Puts are definitely a factor here. That was, what the hell? Did we just see 6B for Anti? Well, yeah, that was kind of clean. Right? Um, I'm pretty sure that's how he lost the last set. Like, Mr. Put 6B is supposed to be BDP, but yeah. either way, Arjun sitting on. Oh! Okay, so that was Green Shield. Interesting. I'm yeah. not sure if you we were. Still actually, have the challenge, right? I don't think so. I think it's just safe if it's Green Shield. Don't quote I me see, on that. I see, I see. Chat, correct me, because I. Christ knows, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, All right, CS available for Argon here, just holding on strong. Ooh, wow, 2C for the knockdown right here. Not able to get a conversion, and Arjun does block the 6B. Okay. Yeah, there it is, a thrust. And Ooh. just hit him with the reversal. Absolutely. This should be enough to kill. You might have to spend another meter. Yeah, oh, there we go. There EX it behind is. it. That's the kill. Metal P seeing the metal behind the claws. That's game number one. And Over to Argon. No adjustment around this time. My man's no. just my man's just vibing out. Just go straight out. into it, bro. Vibing out to the uni music. Bow, bow, bow. Send to the Persona. Oh, oh, clean jump in. I don't know. Is this going to be another repeat of the previous set where we're just might. sending the crowd shields? I don't know. It might. And we, I mean, we've seen a lot of green shields so far from Argent. So, like, clearly looking for the shields in neutral. Oh, yeah. yeah there it is again. Okay. So chain shift to continue the Woo. pressure. That's a punish. Immediate stand shield coming oh. out. No, we have the BDP. The meme that we had at the start of the game is Aurier got worse because you had the ability to hang yourself with this BDP. It is so rough. Argon not letting go of the pressure. Triple clap in the corner. Wow. Yeah. Spending the meter to uh, go right through with the 236C. Wow, Persona is actually gonna check the jump from Arjun right here. Yep. Uh, two A start, it's not gonna be a ton. Yeah, good double two A. I don't think you can get that route there. Oh, there we go. Send of the Persona. Gold throw, wow. but there's so much going on in the screen, can barely tell the effect. Yeah, see, we're, we're committing a little bit too much to the uh, the overhead right there, and yeah. Arjun is kind of ready with the blocks and the shield. I, I think Metal P's got to got to focus on establishing a little bit of a, a, a more solid offensive game plan rather yeah. than just trying to force the overhead right there. Yeah, I think it's hard for Metal P, right? Because a lot of times we're looking to try and space out with these thrusts, sending out the persona once we've established the respect. But Argon is putting out so many of these hitboxes in the middle of the screen that's making it so uncomfortable. You do not want to swing thrust into it. Yeah, and it's hard, right? Like, Wald has buttons where, like, you can contest Ori at a, a lot of ranges that yeah. not every character can. So, like, you, you gotta play a little differently. Exactly. Whoa! Ooh, tried to contest out of the corner here. A little bit too far for the 6B to make purchase, but EX Thrust at least allows us to escape. No, but you ran right back into the big meaty claws. It's not enough to kill without the meter behind it. Good recognition from Argon. Like, not getting locked down by the Persona, so jump back buttons was able to check the assault coming in. 
And here we go. The shimmies on both sides just playing it nice and easy for us to maintain. Woo! There it is. Jump C to come in. Yeah, we're going to get the corner bombo. Okay. Okay. All right. Decent damage. This ain't Mr. B, but you're doing okay. Ooh. There yeah, see, it, there, there's the oh! space. God press. Full screen. Say goodbye. You are one hit away. And that's bait. That's bait. That's the reversal. Had time to shield, and we just straight up punished it with the command throw right there. Arjun is going to be making it in to winner's side. Six B there. I like that. Uh, they got the step dash forward, and I thought they were going to go to for some kind of frame kill, and they did get the meaty 6 B to counter hit. So really good stuff there from TV Tango, tying up the rounds here. There's a hard knockdown. Backing up, though, sending out the ground pound, the slide head, if you will, keeping Dragon Blade Ice uh, wary, even if they're trying to attack from the ground. And that's going to be a command grab, invisible command grab as well, going to stack up a good amount of damage and bring Dragon Blade Ice corner, uh, closer and closer into this corner situation. Yeah, oh my god. 360B does not get gold throw tech. Now you're in the corner against Waldstein. This is really where he wants to keep you, but doesn't block low after the flight. Another 360C for your troubles, though. One of the best reversals in the game after the super flash change. Weep. Yeah, just going straight for the assault, something simple. Hitting Dragon Blade Ice, trying to escape the corner. You see a lot of Dragon Blade Ice trying to go for those jumps. And I really like what TV Tengu has been doing. They notice that Dragon Blade Ice is doing that and going for those big long reaching buttons to basically stuff them out of the air preemptively. Yeah. It's really important in these matchups. You can't let you can't let those characters just up back out of the way, especially when you have a lot of buttons that do reach higher up, like 623A, 236A. Things like that. Even 3C is the GOAT for anti airs. Yeah, especially when you're playing against a character like Merkava too. They always love to jump. And, you know, wake up dive kick yeah. is a very, very scary option that you can go for. Okay. Or knock down with the 4B. No warm set, however. 2 and 4A will hit. And that would have been a full combo as well because Dragon, Dragon Blade Ice did have that chain shift available. Yeah, wow. That, uh... That 2 and 4 there to actually catch the jump landing was not what I expected. Nice 2C. Oh, and there's the command grab coming in yet again. Dragon Blade Eyes show they could tech it uh, at Whoa. the start of this round, but so far hasn't been able to tech it since. And TV Tengu hitting that God Press, bringing Dragon Blade Eyes to the corner yet again. And that's going to be a punish game. That hard knockdown tries to go for the 4B, but doesn't really get too much. There's the VO coming out from Dragon Blade Eyes. Yeah, I actually like the spacings that TV Tengu is playing at. He saw that. Dragon Blade Ice had 200 meters, so he actually backed up and played a little bit more range there to potentially bait out a 2-3-6 and a trade in TV Tengu's favor puts him in a, in a position to win this set one round away. Now this is tough for Dragon Blade Ice as well because because they used VO in the previous round, they're not going to have any meter to use here. And TV Tengu does have 100 meter on deck, so can use that invincible 360 reversal that we've been talking about. Yeah, you are going to have to watch out for it here. Dunn loses the Vorpal Cycle, though. That could be potentially really big because he's added damage on these extra hits is really going to add up. Yeah, increases the damage on the hits, increases the uh, combo extension uh, uh, combo extension as well. And you also have to worry about the extra mirror he can gain from it, uh -oh. too. There's a punish, the counter, the tech on the throw, and Dragon Blade Ice can finish it here, but drops the combo yet again, unfortunately. And TV Tengu given another chance at life, however, going to get stuffed out by the 236 series. Yeah, from I was not expecting Wake Up 236A. It's, it's actually wild because a lot of Merkavas have been doing that round start recently, round start 236A, because Jesus! 6C round start to catch the 2C dashboard hurtbox extension. And there's the wake up dive kick we've been talking about. A very strong defensive option that Murkava can go for and basically gives him a free combo from that uh, from the ground splat. Nice. Gets a 360C afterwards. TV Tango in massive control right now. The 4B catches yet again. That reached yeah. so far. Yeah. Oh, I mean. 4B is actually probably like one of his biggest horizontal buttons, especially because he leaves the shockwave when he does the slam. And that's also an added hurtbox that makes it plus. Dragon Blade has immediately backing up. Does not want any of this right now. Well, you got to watch out for that. The 2-2 series for Wald, those Gamma Wave pounds are each explosion is its own projectile. There's the God Press coming in coast to coast to the corner. Nice block on the overhead. And there's the punish coming out from Dragon Blade Ice. Misses the 4B at the end there. Ooh, tries the God Press again. Gets caught in by the jump in. Wow, what a throw. There's overhead finding its mark. Here's a full combo for TV Tengu. Drops the combo midway through. But there's <laughs> the God Press going for a punish on the 236B. Uh, yeah, sure. 
There you go. Yeah, that's going to be it. The 6-6-B into the 2-3-6-A. Er. His character and how he likes to play. Yeah. His mid-screen routes are more consistent, which is important. And his metered reversals are now some of the best in the game. Oh, but hey, 6-6-B round start. All right. There's Sarugi, a, a new character in this version. Uh, a very fast mash-on character. Kind of plays like a pseudo grappler, but has tons of super armor potentially with the FF. Wow, that was a hit confirm. Yeah, that, that was a fantastic hit confirm. But even then, like even if it gets blocked, he's still plus afterwards by spending that 2-3-6-C. Yeah, he's plus, uh, plus 10, plus 8. Plus, it's plus 10, yeah. It's very plus. Yeah, I, I was thinking plus 8 because it's 8 frame startup, 4 and 4. But you see already that Saw the Great is using his force function. That's going to be the matchup defining, uh, matchup defining tool, I feel in uh, really any matchup that uh, Tsurugi plays against. Yeah. He puts up the big shield. Not immune to lows, but immune to mids and highs. Yeah, he really needs to commit when he does it. Um, but if he plays that, like, you know, a little bit further than mid-range spacing where you really can't, um, you know, press buttons against him, FF becomes real scary because you have to watch out for um, Taiga, Taiga Boat Slide. If anyone who plays the Geki knows what that is. You'll see it. <laughs> he'll, he'll represent it at some point. Yeah, but you're dead, so it doesn't matter. Game one to saw the great. Starting off perfectly. Yeah, see, you back dash FF there. You catch the 6B, dash forward, press the button to counter hit. 6 6B round is. start yet again. Fantastic round start. And this is going to give Saw the Great. Oh, we're going for the same mix up again. However, Suzaku was ready for it that time. Not able to mash. get the full touch. The 2A mash, but immediate force function in response. Okay, the wheel catches the J2C. You will not put your head down on me, but that 6-6-B still catches active for so long. He just holds forward with that 6-6-B. Doesn't care about any of the traps on screen, any of the zoning that Suzaku is representing. And Suzaku is kind of like a deer in headlights whenever that force function gets activated. Trying to go for the lows, but Saw the Great is playing around that with that RPS hop. Yeah, that is the really important part of uh, Tsurugi, uh, especially when they want to mash those lows. You need to be really careful about how you use your force function usage. Um, but Surugi does have quite a number of ways to mix up his force function uses to not, you know, really get punished by lows. Oh man, but we start the blender. What a oh, trade! The trade the force function coming out, finding a hit on Suzaku. This is going to give Saw the Great an even bigger lead as they are on a set point here. The counter hit, Trey Suzaku still alive, finds a what? hit with the JC, but a response from Saw the Great perfectly securing that game here. Man, man's recycling all the options on layer one. He's like, Dude, bro, we're at Daytona Beach. We don't have enough water. We need to continue to sink below sea level, but Byakia versus Mika, one of these characters I have been putting way too much time into learning recently. All right, tune in Lazy Guy already getting the early lead here, already immediately putting Jackatron into the corner. Also has Mir to go for the triple web setup that Byaka is known for and doesn't quite get the ender that they want. Ooh, tries to go for 5BB. 5BB a little too long startup to use in that mid-range scenario. Something like 6-6B would be better. Oh man, you're about to die though. Hitting with the overhead charge 3C and that's going to be the full combo for tune in Lazy Guy. Woo! No! Chooses not to spend the meter, however. Jackatron oh. on a pixel of life, and yeah, right there. One hit will do it, and immediately Tune and Lazy Eye able to close out that set. No perfect, though. True. Nice. Just the 5B hit, but goes up with the missile. That's a really hard one to enforce to get people not to mash on, because uni players are mashers. Full combo into the corner, has full meter on hand to cash out, but drops the combo at the very end and immediately going for the command grab. Jacketron getting good damage on the table and immediately getting even more. Starting to even up the life pool here, but doesn't have the Vorpal Cycle, going to lose it. Wow, guess the guard thrust? That, oh, wow. I was not expecting that kind of DP to come out. That's like instant PDP. 2C mash, what a madman, but tune in Lazy Guy ready for the no cancel, 360C again. <laughs> it worked the first time. Might be shades of, oh my god, 60C round start. Might be shades of a wall player mashing 360C as a reversal option. Yeah, unfortunately your command grab ain't that big. No, it is not, and it's also, uh, doesn't give you that much corner carry, and it's kind of doesn't give you as much damage. Kind of useless without CR. Nice, gets the correct missile that time. 
No shields from Tune in Lazy Guy, so Jackatron can really exploit that. Because you need to shield Mika Missile before it becomes a problem. Yeah, for sure. Jackatron getting the side swap here to get out of the corner, but now we're here back at that mid-screen space. And a great throw from uh -oh. Tune in Lazy Guy to throw him into the web, but not able to fully capitalize off of that combo because of the spacing. But this spacing is perfect for Tune in Lazy Guy. Able to get the full combo yet again from the side swap to correct. And there's the web that Jackatron not really looking out for. Thought they could run under it and getting hit by it in the end. The blocking though, the patience. Nice job, and then gets clipped by the 3C overhead. Tuning Lazy Guy on set point right now. It can be a difficult uh, overhead to really block because when you look at it, it doesn't really look like an overhead at no. first. I mean, it didn't look like a low either. And it was a we low don't talk for about, like seven years. We don't talk years. about that. I'm having flashbacks, y'all. <laughs> Oh, web mashes set. on oh. the web set, though. But the drop combo with the falling JA and the EXDP for your life. Tune and Lazy Guy going to take it 2 0 over Jackatron. Yeah, that was really tough here because Jackatron really was just not respecting the pressure that Chunin Lazy Guy was enforcing. And Byaka is definitely not a character you will yet again. We'll see. Uh, see exactly how that ends up turning out. Going for the random music selection. We're getting straight into the swing of things. Button check is over. Let's see what this round start is going to be. Both of these characters have some very strong round starts that they can immediately go for if they want. Listen, what is it with grapplers and having great 6 6 Bs? Is Sarugi a grappler? I he's mean, not a grappler. I think he's more of a grappler than most characters. He's got a 2 1 4 A. Are immediately setting up the web as that roadblock, trying to go for that shield surf to get in. That's going to stop that approach from Ern Jaeger as Jurassic Ori stuffs them into the corner. And this is going to be the web set because we have meter on hand. You know, one, two, three. Not the, not the BB color, the clear lamp color. You know, we're, we're taking shades from our mentors. Yeah, we have to. We're learning and gets the counter hit throw to seal the first round. Almost the perfect coming out from Ori there. Both players playing very patient, but Fern Jaeger being the first one to start that offensive approach. Great block on that uh, 60 overhead from Jurassic Ori. Drops the combo though, just like every Biak player does. Uh oh. Such an, oh, and that's really wow. tough. Trying to go for that fall up again. Counter hit by the multi hits from that Rekka. Are you dead? Oh no, you drop it. Like every Biakia player. Can't ever ask, are you dead? Because Biakia players will drop the combo. Thank God. Immediately going for Almost CBO. dropped it still. Okay. I think we could have just went straight to CBO and killed right we, there, right? We, we, we didn't have to do all of that. We just went straight into Infinite Worth, yeah. We didn't have to do all of that. I was like, okay, great job. Combo stabilization so we don't drop our combo, but no, we we have to mess it up somehow. Yeah, always, always. All right, we're gonna push to the corner with this one. Not gonna have meter for any web setup. That will be off of the next hit. Never mind, we're mashing 2C like a madman. Oh, I like that route. Yeah, pushing Jurassic Ori into the corner. You want the corner positioning. If you're Ern Jaeger, you do not want to be pressed up into the corner, but this is going to be amazing corner carry from Jurassic Ori to get. Oh, no, never mind. We're going, just going back to that mid screen space here. Yeah, not going to spend the web setup just yet. Doesn't want the mid screen web setup. Wow, that was, that was a trade of all time. Now, Ern Jaeger. Oh, okay, we're just going to spend the CVO here. Just getting as much damage as we can from this one interaction. There's a slide coming in, There's but the punish. the punish from the 5A, you cannot do that in um, front of Jurassic Ori's face like that. This doesn't kill. Okay. Okay. Biakia players and finishing combos, I swear. Brother. Can we clip that? <laughs> oh my god, Can, can I get a clip on that? Can we put that on the CEO? You're giving BM a run for his money. Yeah, true. Can we, can we get that on the CEO social media? Peak, peak combo. That was meta combo right there. Okay, but here, we got a good conversion here. We're not gonna drop it this time, right? Okay, yeah, there we go. One, two, three. Nope. Oh, oh the my The TG God. setup, baby! <laughs> the TG setup! Oh, man, I love Undernight and Biakia players. All right, let's do it again. TG setup. One more time? Oh, uh, we don't need it. We have the third okay. one back there, all the way back there. Oh, but the 2C does end up connecting, and you still drop the confirm. Get me out of here, he says. She went straight for the goal throw, and that's going to be the counter hit from Jurassic Ori coming out. Synonymous with the style of Enkidu that was played before, because Curly is an unashamed 
6FF masher. Will press that button okay. until you crumble you, to the ground. You say that, but don't it all in Kitties do that in this version of the they game? They have to, yeah. But like, I feel like that is synonymous. Isn't that just the Inkiru gameplay? Nah, I'm a, I'm a CG enjoyer, and I agree with CG. CG Six doesn't play the character anymore. Anymore, yeah, because 6FF exists. It's all right, CG, I'm with you. Delete 6FF, turn Havoc throw back on. Here we go, getting a punish here on Flame Pit. One, two, three, drops the combo, but it's okay. Has a great life advantage, but that's going to start disappearing very soon. A Flame Pit can confirm his combos. Punish coming in yet again with the charge of JC for um, a JC assault. Woo! Pinwheel set. The throw as well. The traps are on the screen, and Flaming Pit is starting to even up this life pool. Oh, tries to go for parry again, gets thrown out of it. And the comeback from Flaming Pit from the depths of defeat. Shades of EX Carmine have come to bite you. We didn't 6 FF enough. True. We 6 FF in our pressure. We 6 FF on defense. We 6 FF in neutral. That's the game plan right there. But here we go. C Curly has Flame Pit locked down in the corner yet again. Dropping our confirms though. And there's the reversal coming out from Flaming Pit. Does so much damage. And there's the throw to recover a bit of life. If you don't know how nice. Carmine works, he uses his health to use his special moves and his traps. Yeah, so if a Carmine player cannot open you up and they're just spending health for their specials, you they're can get a themselves. lot of yeah, you can get a lot of health that way. But we are going to get some health back with the BB tag auto combo. What a parry into the 2B. Yeah, that was crazy. Parrying the trap and gaining the full invincibility so they can basically ignore all of the hitboxes on the screen. Very smart play from C. Curly. And once again, winning this round start interaction. But can we keep Flaming Pit in the corner? No, that's not going to be the case because that reversal is so big, so strong. And Flaming Pit has been using it to wow. great extent. This full screen run up throw does get the grid break. Curly on the back foot right now. Another counter hit throw off of the auto combo. That's mad minus. 6 FF. Gold throw. Going to be tech this time around. And Flaming Pit maybe trying to take advantage of that. You can't do that. That's going to be plus on C Curly because they teched it. The VO bait. No. We wanted the end. We wanted the loops. We didn't get it. No Tries to go for the ant here. Did the dive kick to stay safe. But Flaming Pit able to close it out in the end. Catching C Curly from behind. That's going to be the first game going to Flaming Pit. Yo, the slight pop off from Flaming Pit. Feeling themselves. But I know Curly is thinking of a few ideas, thinking of three words put together, or one word in two letters. For the love of God, press six FF, please. It'll work, trust round me. Round start, round start, come on. I like, oh, the, okay. I like the slight dash forward. Uh, Curly has done that a bunch of times, that it's actually gotten out of the round start two and four for Flaming Pit. Six, six, C to Antier, though. Woo in, there's the assault and the punish as well, C Curly. Really doing a lot of damage to Flaming Pit right now. Trying to get Cheeky and open them up with that overhead charge. Another run up throw from Flaming Pit. Just ends up working out. I like that slight dash forward. Curly's been having really good dash blocks to make a space here. A command grab from Flaming Pit, but just way too spaced out as C Curly able to close out this round and hope that, hoping to take this round here as they even up. The game count 1-1, one, one. though C Curly has a lot of mirrors, so Flaming Pit has to be really FF. worrying about that. And there's a 6FF coming through. Oh, you're going to get punished for that, that yeah. Round. Also, that was Micro Dash 5B. You saw the slide forward, Micro Dash 5B. This is going to be a whole lot of damage. Put some meter on it. Grant to IW. I like it's it. 5K. 5.5 Dio. Hand yeah, me your soul, child. There's the 2A counter hit at Curly. Two rounds straight. Yeah, immediately taking that game back here as the set count is even up once again. 1-1, one, one, that lead that Flame Pit built is now gone as we are in our final game of the set. An immediate 6 FF round start. Trying to catch that 2 on 4 trap set from Flame Pit, but Flame Pit going for a different round start that time around. I actually wonder the implications of parry round start there, because Pit had gone for 2 on 4 A like every round start before. So I wonder like what, what parry does in that situation. Yeah, I wonder too. I don't think it, it's quite at the range where it can actually get that ball up to hit. All right, but we're mashing the 5B. The back dash to get the 5B meaty. Curly on set point. Might be running it four rounds straight right now. Just like every KOF player, absolutely throwing the first game to win two straight. All 
right here is the corner position for C. Curly, a backdash from Flaming Pit, and a command grab as well to throw them into the corner, recover a bit of <laughs> life, and there is the 6FF coming out to destroy the trap set. Oh, hey, the VO out, though. They see Pinwheel keeping C. Curly locked down. That VO oh, timer is starting to tick, though, and C. Curly is going to be taking this hit here into the full combo, into the foot stomp, into the ground. C. Curly moves on through the bracket after that strong start from Flaming Pit. Yeah, four rounds straight. Not no CF, it acts the same way. <laughs> Let's go BB Tag. All right, getting into the set though, Makaya versus Spiker, Linne versus Wagner, two buffs immediately to start. And wow, tries to go for the FF to bait. Spiker is going to get a hit here, but puts Makai out of the corner. Right now, Makai playing very patient and letting Spiker to just do whatever they want. Getting the charge up of Makai filling up that screen space with big hitboxes to keep Spiker from approaching. And now Makai can finally run their offense here. Yeah, Makai is probably one of the most patient players we have in South Florida. Will really not commit to any defensive options or even commit to a lot of mashes. Um, they are very much looking for a potential throw. Um, more dialed in on the throw than any potential rebeat, reset, um, which can come back to bite them against players who understand how to exploit that kind of defense, but it's not going to matter. The footsies is going to get Micaiah the first round of the set. Both players looking pretty even on meter on this round start here, trying to get the shield buff. Now Makai is rushing in, getting that full punish into the corner. Are we going to cash out? We should. Yeah, straight into the IW to get as much damage as we can. 5k? Meter, no, 4.5. Meter yeah. positive. Nice! Uses the 6-6-B and, and the fades out the bait as well. Oh. It's uh, never been so over. Andrew's dead. Wow, what a combo from Makaya there. Game one ends just like that. Yeah, that was a real rough final round right there. Getting grid broken into getting your VO baited. Yeah. Makaya is always ready for things like that. Oh, almost a great pickup. Yeah, what's notable about that VO as well is that if VO hit, that grid broken state is now over. Yeah. You get reset back to neutral with zero grid, but you're no longer grid broken. Oh, man, but you are in the blender. 5C does end up counter hitting. Makaya is one throw away from sealing this round. Now, when it comes to pressure, Linne is a character that thrives not really on mix-ups all too much, not really going for those high-low mix-ups all that much, but instead frame traps and strike throw yeah. because of how fast she is. Yeah, one of the fastest characters in the game. Uh, very much like the archetype of Mika, similarly. Um, just has less slightly stubby buttons. 2C is the GOAT, 2B is the GOAT. Taking all that time to concentrate that grid. Looking to win this cycle here and getting a successful throw, so that's going to put Spiker oh back God. down at getting... zero. Oh. The DP coming out from Spiker oh, finally, but the red miss showing that Makai is in the air doing an action. Oh, sorry. Uh, Spiker was in the air doing an action, and that gave Makai a perfect opportunity to go for that DP punish, knocking them straight out of the air. There's a no flight. Our next set coming up, another in Kidu. We got Rock Sultan versus Firebride or Firebird, either one. This will be the first set uh, set of our pool block. I think the first set of today. Yeah, I haven't seen any other. I know a lot of players have been switching off of this character, so I'm interested to see how Firebird plays them, especially when they're being put against this unrelenting offense from Rock Salt. And there's the overhead coming out, catching Firebird, and that's the full combo. Trying to go for that chain shift at the end to extend the combo. I feel like we could have done before and got the meter refund, yeah. but it's okay because we are starting off this wow. next round start here with 100 meter. Nice, the JB does hit from the back, but 2B counter hit is going to give Rock Salt in the offensive, push Seth all the way to the corner. Where are you going, child? Tries to set up the orb in the corner, but you cannot do that when Rock Sultan is just pressing buttons in your face, and that should be the kill combo. No, drops at the very end. And Firebird with very little life, sending the orb once again, but this time with plenty of time to get out of that corner. 6FF coming out, but going to get baited. Rock Sultan, however, gain that punish as Firebird tries to cross them up in the corner. Yeah, very first game one to Rock Sultan. Very uh, aggressive offense, and Firebird not really, uh, you know, blocking. We're mashing. We are mashers in these pools blocks. We didn't pay, we didn't pay fifty dollars to block. For real. And you know, because it's fifty percent off. Yeah, you can pay twenty five dollars to not block. Exactly. Bang for your buck. Ooh, the 5A does end up catching. 
All right, you are back in the corner. How long are you going to block? Jump back to, to forward air dash out. I just want to say, that was a crazy 6FF from Brock Salton, knowing that Firebird is probably going to press a button. Yeah. Whee! The 6 6 -E is catching from deep. Rock Salton is on set point. Speed running for the potentially the fastest set of this pool's block. And honestly, like, this is not a great matchup for Nkidu because if Seth is using his movement to his full capabilities and also the orb sets as well, it can be very difficult for this character to try and get in and actually establish pressure against Seth. But unfortunately, Firebird hasn't been getting many opportunities to actually represent the tools that they have in this toolkit. Oh my god, it didn't kill. That's not going to work. The 2A is going to hit, but drops the combo into the 2B. Rock Salton taking it 2-0 in a very clean fashion. Well played, two rocks, Alton. What do they got? Or are they trying to figure out the they set They were trying count? to figure out the set count. Listen, like, did they, I win? They were both lost in the saw, to, to no. see if you make that top eight spot. Now, Slam Donkey always played Phonon. Uh, I feel like Slam Donkey used to play other characters. Hmm, like Landrevia, sure. Akatsuki. I think, I think they've dabbled in different characters. But right now, what is the case is that it's going to be the Phonon coming out from Slam Donkey versus Camp Block Lows on the Elnum. And Slam Donkey already pushing Camp Block Lows into the corner. Nice throw tech here. Yeah, the 4B does end up catching the chance to try to run out or mash out. 4B is the great equalizer in a lot of Phonon matchup when she gets to that mid-range. You have to respect it, but you get caught by the 6-6B, and that is going to be the round for Slam Donkey. And, you know, it can be very tough to play against Phonon pressure because she's constantly harassing you from this range where, especially like Eldenum, Eldenum has some pretty decent buttons, but even then, like, she cannot quite reach Phonon in a lot of the places she likes to pressure you from. Yeah. Gunshot becomes important. Uh, 2C becomes very important in this matchup. 5C has been seeing some usage recently. Shout outs to Stang. Been using that button like it's like amazing footsie tool, which, you know, kind of is. And also sometimes it's just mess you messing up your 6C input. Already, oh, finding the overhead hit and going to open up can block lows. That's going to be the full combo here into the metered ender to get as much damage as it can. The slight concentrate to try and win that vorpal cycle and to gain some grid. Finding another conversion against camp block lows. This one won't be enough to kill, but we do have chain shift available. And oh, immediately yeah, IW wake punish. up. That's a free punch Whoa! for Slim Doggy, but the 4B whiffs. Okay, yeah, tries to assault out, gets caught by the BDP. And yeah, a lot of phone on Oki may seem like it's fake, especially when she does like those safe jump fireballs, but you can't contest against it. It'll always be safe. Really is just something you have to hold. The camp block lows finally finds a hit. And right now the idea is to keep phone on locked down as oh. much as possible because her defense isn't very strong without a good strong mash button. And now camp block lows has slammed Donkey Grid broken and very low on life. This is the conversion that camp block lows needed as they take that round over Slam Donkey. Yeah, wow. What a clapback from Camp Block Lowe's. Starts the pressure, ends the pressure, ends the round, but there it is, another air normal. We found our way in and we're pushing to the corner off of this one. And Phonon has some of the best air normals in the game, so that air approach becomes very scary to deal with. Yeah, it does. Oh, but the purple cycle to Camp Block Lowe's, this might be really important. Uh, 2 1 4 eh? Sand oh. Fireball, there's the 4B coming out, gain the punish. Yeah, caught another assault. That is a bit, that is a thing you want to do, you know, against one on you. Like, you think, like, man, I want to assault. And then just, like, FF hits you, 4B hits you, another air-to-air -air conversion, Slam Donkey answering back. Now we're here at potentially the final round of this set. Slam Donkey on a set point over Camp Block Lows, really representing those 4Bs and those 2Bs to great extent against Camp Block Lows. And Camp Block Lows playing as patient as possible until Slam Donkey approaches in their face. The 2B coming out, and here's the conversion they need. All right. Slam Donkey does not have any meter, so you can really do whatever you want here. Spends the meter here. That is going to give Slam Donkey 100. So now you guess. It looks like Camp Block Lowe's is not going to spend that change. Yes. And the VO coming out from Slam Doggy trying to deny it. That's not invincible. Yeah, yeah. You need to do EX Cutting Sync. Don't bubble your route like this. Nice 2B counter hit. This should be enough to kill. Loops. Oh, man, that scaled so hard. Negative one, by the way. Counter hit from Slam Doggy coming out. Making the hard knockdown. Mid screen. Fireball coming out. Finding another hit on Camp Block Lowe's. Uh, about to be camp block highs either. Oh no, is this the comeback that 
Camp uh, Slam Donkey is going to find What's here. What's the guess? And won the Vorpal Cycle as well. Just barely. Camp Block Low stuck in the corner. Has some meter on hand for a reversal. But once again, Slam Donkey playing out that range where it's very difficult to try and contest against Phonon. Oh, tries to mash 2C out. Camp Block Lowe's did not show the EX cutting sync through those fireball strings. If Phonon ever does fireball in its strings, unless it's like directly in front of you, there is always a gap in it. EX cutting sync, absolutely, if you see the fireball start up, but things you learn. Things you learn, but I mean, hey, not, checks, not, right? not 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 the best, but they are serviceable in order to take Merkava out of the air. But overall, it's going to be very much so Jaisu trying to make that slow approach into Beyond Hell's uh, range. Yeah, we'll see how it goes down. I did play Jaisu in some casuals yesterday with my hitbox Mika, and I gave them a great scare. And Beyond Hell is a CFL player, so they definitely have some funny tricks up their sleeve. And I already like JC already representing that 2-2 series because that is a fantastic tool, fantastic move to beat out those zoning tools that uh, Merkava does represent with those 5Cs. Oh, tries to 2C out of there, gets clipped by the Kuga, but did win the Vorpal Cycle. Let's see how they use it here. Not going to spend any meter here, going to save it. There's the 5A stagger pressure coming in with the air Kugas as well to keep the position. And the 2C clipping beyond hell low. You cannot press right there as Jaisu is looking to make a perfect chain shift into the IW. Unlike the chain shift before the IW wow. as well because we've got that 33 meter refund. So they're not going into this next round with empty meter on hand. Great stuff there. Ooh, very Jace. risky. Wow, the double assault. That is one of the things Jaisu does is they do do double assault a lot. Beyond Hell has not been able to find their footing. Nice block on the high there, but no press. Oh, coming out the back dash from Beyond Hell once out of it, but that gives JC so much grid here and going to spend it. Wow. Using it as a pause button, looking where Beyond Hell is and gain that DP ant here. Are we going to get another perfect? No way. IW Sven? One more hit. What is the guess? Wake up 236C is an option from Merkava. Assault overhead. Oh, there, there it go. is coming out. That is, uh, that is that is one tool that JC really likes to use. Um, definitely prefers going for high-low mix more yeah. often than he does like to go for the strike throw yeah. mix that Lin A is much better at. Wow, what a round start. But that's crazy. JC gained the double perfect on Beyond Hell. That's a fantastic start. And that's really setting the pace of this set so far. It's Beyond Hell hasn't been able to get anything started. Like, quite literally, not able to get anything started against JC. Nice, doesn't. Doesn't fight on the T on the TK Kuga, uh, but you still need to find a place to press out here. Um, going for some very committal five Cs. Oh, you're under it though. Range. Oh, under it, but the chain shift into the DP. I love that. Uh, I love that action from Jaisu and the throw coming in, doing the final bit of help away from Beyond Hell. And now we're going to get a 2-0 here as Jaisu is on set point. Yeah, not really finding the places to get out of here against the uh, against fireball pressure, but finally finds a hit. All right, now can begin the funny game time. Yeah, now uh, we can get a 4B. Uh, okay, yeah. See babies coming out, the flight as well to what try and force that high low, but the shield, fantastic usage from Jaisu. Gained the punch on Beyond Hell, and the air cool will hit. Gets the confirm. Nice block. Has to CS it, nice throw. The Vorpal Cycle is really scary here. Oh, what an edge here! Oh, but the 6 6 c not able to get the second hit. And this is huge for Jaisu, as now he is out of the corner. Never want to drop on wow. 6 c or 3C. Oh. They're so committal in the chain shift to keep the combo going. That's a lot of damage. Doesn't have a lot of meter, though. All right, there's one baby on the table. Staying out the fireballs, keeping JCU at bay. The baby's in oh, his the face. The 2-2-C two, two, wow. and the confirm from Beyond Hell. Popping JCU up into the air, into the confirm with the 6C, 2-1-4-B. And that's going to be the first round for Beyond Hell on the table. Nice, gets out of there, away from the 2C. Oh, but the assault over the 5C is going to give Jaisu an advantage in this round. Doesn't spend the meter. Oh, we're out of here, though. Do we got these? We uh, do have uh, the old one. Uh, uh, oh, oh, it yeah. all comes down that, to that, that one that link one, right yeah. there. Oh, man, Mashes immediately gets hit by the 2C. This is going to be an infinite worth spend from Jaisu here. Chain shift into the infinite worth, of course. All right, now we guess for your life. Assault, yeah. One thing about the IW2 is that it's very plus, so we get so much time to concentrate and build up that grid and build up that advantage as Jaisu with the 2-0, feeling good about it, beating Beyond Hell. Celestial Sweep, 
no stranger to you know online uh, to getting top eights at online brackets, whether it's TNS, whether it's Aegis Esports, whether it's Boston Blue Beat. Uh, so I'm looking forward to see how they do in their bracket run. One of the top players to actually make it into that top eight spot, but they're playing against a Salty Sailor, and they're going to be getting that first round winning interaction. Oh man, Salty Sailor is going crazy. Another Linne on stream. It's like the eighth one we've seen this block. And I love that match from Slush Rush. Salty trying to get that reset with the uh, with the rebeat into the throw. Now Slush Rush able to reverse the situation, throw Salty into the corner instead, and actually outspacing it perfectly to get the advantage here in mid-screen. Yeah, not gonna win the Vorpal Cycle though, which may come back to bite them, but get another potential 50-50. Oh, you well. don't block high. Now sets out the Roomba, and there you go. Keep him locked down so we can do whatever mix we want instead of going for the regular 2A low, clipping him in the legs as Slush Rush takes the first round. Sometimes that's all you need. Just the run up, stagger 2A, and we eventually catch your toes slipping. All right, gonna get another potential. Gloom set up. Oh man, that hit from so far away. All right, Salty Slayer, Sailor playing patient, but pressing a button, trying to go for the parry, I think. And Slush Rush going for the Steer Ender to really build up that grid advantage and the potential mirror they can gain off that chain shift. And this is going to be very close to killing. Not quite, though. That would have killed and clear. All right, now you're locked down. And yes, using the Roomba to mask the charge 5C overhead is really good stuff that Hilda players have been using in this version. <laughs> and one notable thing about Hilda as well is that Compared to the rest of the cast, she gets the highest meter refund off of her CE specials. Yeah. So that's another notable thing is that she can kind of just harass you all the time with the CE specials and keeping you from getting in. Woo! The 6FF does end up clipping. Salty Sailor is finding a spot here to actually play the game. Don't get VO'd, okay. Okay, the VO coming out in the rain and the Roomba to keep Salty locked in, and that's the classic Hilda mix. Going for the charge, JC, is it going to be overhead? Is it going to be a low? The Roomba is still present, but able to clear it out. Wait it out, Slush Rush stuck in the corner. Salty Sailor getting the max damage from this confirm. See Kuga to really juice that damage. Oh that's man, he got caught oh. mashing. That is the thing about Slush Rush, Slush Rush is that um, they're not really respectful for your Medioki. Um, they like to go for VL, they like to go for dive kick, so if you can catch them slipping, it's a lot of damage every hit. In the corner once again, Slush Rush this time, however, without any meter on hand, Siakuga once again to get as much damage as we can out of that ender. And the punish coming out from Slush Rush as the mash finds a successful combo hit. Yeah, wow, again, ends up getting hit by the he end, which kind of pushed Salty Sailor a little bit further away. Oh, punish that, okay. Vio, you know, we take that. All right, here comes the funny mix. All right, but Roomba's still going to go forward after it goes back. Oh, Just my God. Just ran straight into it. Nice block on the overhead, though. Yeah, nice 2C, though. Catches Slush Rush asleep at the wheel. This is going to be 100. No, drops the combo assault. What? Ooh, shielded low, unfortunately, so wasn't able to get the guaranteed punish. However, able to find the correct mash out once again. Still has chain shifts available, though the life will oh really even in the 2-2-C no, from the drop. Salty Sailor. Don't get VO'd! Oh, it doesn't even need it. The CS into the 5B. Slush Rush feeling themselves in one round away. And that was so smart from Salty Sailor too. Unfortunately, not able to get the full combo into the kill. And now we are bringing it to the final round. Slush Rush is nice. on set point. There's the roll through with the 2A. Here's the confirm going in. Going to win the Vorpal Cycle as well. Yeah, got Vorpal Cycle just in time to get the 25 meter refund on that. And the low to the grid break. And this is huge. Slush Rush doesn't have BO to reset that grid broken state. And that is the dive kicks that you were talking about before. Salty Sailor respecting it that time around. There's a throw attack coming out from Slush Rush. Going to win the cycle because of that. Wow. Oh, man. Doesn't block the 5C high, but that tech right there actually triggered the first hit of the Roomba. That could have been a really good situation for Sailor. Oh, gets clipped low. And now you are in the corner. This feels bad. Uh-oh. You're one hit away from death. Guess for your life. So many resources on hand. Arrow rain in the arrow rain from behind to keep Salty Sailor locked in there, locked in tight. Pull up the blanket. What a block. Good block. 
No! Oh, but we tried to approach on that button, and now Slush Rush is moving on to 2-0, but that final round was coming down very close. It could have been an even set at that moment. Yeah, it really came down to the choice. At like, you're playing two different games. Yeah. You're playing the regular fighting game that you know, but then you also have that, that uh, another fighting game under the surface, that tug of war that you're playing with that grid system, and all the actions you take, you always have to ask, how does this affect the grid cycle? How does this affect the purple cycle? And what advantage will I gain from doing this option? Yeah. That is the question, but Vicky Viper has already taken over half of their health. Oh my god, the 6-6-B from deep is going to secure the round for Slam Donkey. And a perfect to start it off. What are we doing? I Brother didn't want to say anything. <laughs> I mean, he still got the perfect in the end. But I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold. I'm going to hold until it finishes. Oh, man. That was the right decision from Slam Donkey, but did not get the micro dash needed there to connect the throw. All right. Vicky Viper on the offensive, but 2C ends up catching. Are we going to get a side switch? No. No. Instead, we're going back to mid screen instead. And Phone Run has some of the best metered enders in the game. So much damage from options like 6 2 3 c Yeah. And I got the shield there on the J6C, but no punish. We go back to neutral, catches the parry, but the immediate 2A mash. Punch as well, going to throw Slam Donkey into the corner. And like I said before, Phone Run has very limited defensive mechanics, and Akoski is king when he has you in the corner like this. Yeah. Phone Run really needs to bet on uh, her EX reversals to get something done. Yeah, but it's all about getting into that corner, uh, that corner advantage, right? Because Akoski kind of playing a different game in terms of their button length. They're not quite as dishonest as most characters yeah. in the game. And has to really make that slow approach in, especially when it comes to a character like Bone On, where they have these massive Whoa. buttons that are keeping Vicky Viper at bay. The whiff on the stand shield there, but wake up throw. One of the fastest options in the game at four frames. Oh man, but you got caught. With the DP into the install, this is so much damage coming out from Slam Donkey right now. Now what, this, what, now what that install does, it increases the damage of her normals and specials and also the frame data of them as well. But Vicky Viper responding correctly, using the C-Tossy, throwing Slam Donkey into the corner, trying to go for the overhead, but great reaction from Slam Donkey to block it. Doesn't CS the overhead. That's not punishable. Nice. I like the CS usage on the 6C there to make yourself safe. Don't want to throw away the round, J2C. Oh, they're both shielded! Oh, you're not dead. You got one more opportunity, but no. are we going to go to 5AB here? No, that's dead, right? It, it is dead. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm like, that's Just most enough. definitely. Just enough. Vicky Viper taking game number one over Slam Donkey. Here's okay. the thing. Akoski already had one of the highest damaging IWs in Uni Clear, and IWs got buffed in this version of the game. This guy does mad damage. Pressure coming out from Vicky. How is Slam going to respond? The 2C gets clipped by the fireball. And Vicky is cooking right now. No, the A Tatsu immediately off of the 2B. You're crazy. Woo, what a trade. Oh, the Stasic C. Crack your dome. Open you wide open. Vicky Viper getting the grid break as well. That's going to be a near perfect for Vicky Viper as they take that round here, placing themselves onto the set point with 200 meter on the table. Slam Donkey 4B gaining the combo from it. Yeah, 4B, uh, 5A rebeat, really good to secure the combo there. Pushes all the way to the corner with the EX Rekka there. Nice, base the green shield out. Wow. Gets hit by the immediate overhead option from Vicky. Are we going to use 214C to push all the way to the corner? Yes, we are. All right, the VO coming out from Slam Donkey, finding a hit but not able to confirm it. Jeez. And the jump over from Vicky Viper, clearing the projectile and clearing the fence. Slam Donkey in the corner with no meter on the table because that VO timer has run out. Oh, you're and dead. there it is, the overhead from the chain shift yet again. And that's going to be the set for Vicky Viper. Wow, great stuff to Vicky there. A clean 2-0 over Slam Donkey. And I wouldn't be surprised if that was a top eight. Focusing on the Kuan recently, has really been focusing on the three main characters, Hyde, Landrakia, and uh, Carmine. Yeah. So I'm not sure if this will be an actual set. No, it looks like we're playing it. It'll be fun. 
Dev Devi's been playing Kulan in a couple of net play brackets uh, recently. Devi plays every character. Yeah, I mean, they've been going back uh, back and around to a lot of different characters. I know they locked in Carmine for Combo Breaker. I don't know if they're locking in Kuan for this bracket in specific. I want to say the Longrekia might be coming up because Define has been playing that character a lot more often yeah. in these online brackets. Has really been trying to practice that character. But right now, in the moment, the Kuon is what you got to be worrying about. And there's the flow cancels into the low. Very difficult character to deal with once he gets started and once he actually has Mirror because he uses Mirror to great extent with those C pinwheels. Oh, almost got baited the FF, but that is going to connect. And that will be enough for the round, but you drop it, never mind. I love that four tech from Jaysu as well, able to get the full punish because of it and reverse the situation, spending the IW, a very interesting choice because if we lose the round right here, we're going to be going into this next round without any meter on the table to find playing very patient. Jaysu does have the four <laughs> cycle, trying to assault over the lasers into the air Kuga, but you also have to worry about that pillar being a factor. Yeah, the pillar follow-up will come out even on with so that is something you have to be worried about. The J6C is going to connect and push all the way to the corner. We are going to get a wheel set up. Never mind. No meter spent from Deffy. The low coming out. I mean, 2C, such a great button. All right, we get the wheel this time? Yeah, we do. All right, wheel time. Never mind. What's it going to be? I mean, we could just, we could just do C pinwheel at any point and just keep you locked down. That's the, the delayed dash forward just to mess with Jaysu's timing and Deffy with a perfect. Go easy on the man. No, we can't. <laughs> gotta let the commentators know. Gotta, let him, gotta put him in his place. Yeah, it's true. Retire him. Oh, the DP there. Nice, yeah. Immediately B flash kick out. What a shield, but it doesn't matter because Kuan in a lot of scenarios off of J6C will still be plus. A lot of great blocks coming out from Jaysu, able to win the Morphle Cycle because of it. So stuck in the corner, still a very tough position. And now Deffy has 100 meter on the table, finds a great confirm. Pinwheel out. Now we can start floating. What's it going to be? High, low? Oh, we're just going <laughs> to back up this time around. Yeah, I know uh, Deffy is trying to scout Jaysu DPing because Jaysu has a lot of DP habits uh, that come out a lot of the time. Nice, gets a 2B clip low. Yeah, Deffy definitely playing around that DP habit, making Jaysu have to think on their feet. All right, here's the pickup. Deffy hasn't been hit quite yet, spending the meter on the lasers, keeping Jaysu at bay, but Jaysu finding a hit, not able to get the full confirm, jump forward, and kind of just made it all the way over to the other side. Yeah, really great stuff. They get a chance here. Do they spend 100? No. Uh, but B flash kick again. Wouldn't be cool on if we weren't flash kicking. Nice shield. Nice double shield. Oh, yeah, that was footsies. Uh, Deffy can choose to kill here if they want to. They are going to get the 200 meter. CVO. Never oh, mind. No. We're trolling. That's crazy. That's footsies. Gets the throw tech bait. And Deffy taking it 2 0 over Jaysu. Clip that image, too. Kind of looks like Revert there. Um, you look like Revert Space, bro. If you know what Revert you're, Space is like. You're right. You're right. This is just this. I'll wait for the camera to come back to us, but. Oh, do, the do your CEO best bag. Damn. Let's go. Repping the brand. That bag is huge. Is that like a desk mat? What is that? Yeah, yeah. match. Uh, I don't know if they actually played at TNS 9, but I'm pretty sure they played a couple of times online. This is going to be a very good match. I'm curious how Makaya is going to approach this matchup defensively. Wow, what oh, I love a clip. That going straight through that uh, web, really utilizing their disjoints to the full capacity. And Speaking Jurassic World is to hit. 6 6 c the GOAT, going to get the hit, going to push all the way to the corner. What's the setup? Nice block from Makaya. The top web is still there, though. Doesn't matter. We are going to get hit by the web anyways. We can do a web setup here. No. Nope. Oh, for, great for the pass. concentration. We wanted to win, secure that Vorpal Cycle, basically. And while Jurassic Ori did secure that Vorpal Cycle, Makai was able to get out of that corner cleanly. A back throw from Jurassic Ori coming in. The 2B finding his hit on Makai, thinking they could press or thinking they could escape that situation. And that's going to be the round here for Jurassic that Ori as they finish with the 2 3 6 C. Yep. Almost didn't kill, but is going to get the 50 meter back on it. Now Makaya needs to figure out how to parse this. As I said, I want to see how Makaya approaches this defensively. Because uh, Byakuya is not a character you can kind of just sit back all day on. Yeah, if you let, if you let Byakuya just 
run their offense on you, it's, 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 it's very, very tough to yeah. get out of. Oh, nice. Gets the clip. It's a great hit from Makaya right there, but gets the side switch off the dive kick. Not what they wanted. The 3D, though. The funny time. Mechanic gets the 6 6 hit. Into the corner we go. Jurassic Ori back up against the wall. Makaya looking to try and take this okay. round here. There's the V. Oh, oh, and the block. <laughs> the change shift to react to. And Makaya taking the round. And taking all of that meter. Makaya with a read. 6682B. Oh, oh, the assault. JC. Hitting Makaya overhead. No meter to fully capitalize off this hit, however, though we can get one setup right here. Or we're just going to go for the concentration oh. to build up that grid. And another hit for Jurassic Ori. Now we can finally get set up against Makaya. At least Makaya didn't get caught in second. Like one, two, three. <laughs> Never mind. We got caught mashing, though. Uh, This is enough to kill, yeah. You have forfeited the game off of that one guess. Thank you for finishing the combo like a normal person. Game one to Jurassic Ori. Yeah, there are many ways in this game to stabilize your combo roots, whether it's the CVO to pop up in the air and to get that free IW, or to go for those steer enders yeah. as well. And you'll be seeing that a lot from the players as we've been actually seeing a lot from him um, like earlier in yeah. this block. All right, starting off, Makaya does get hit again. All right, corner pressure. What is your option, Makaya? Oh man, guess the green shield baited. Oh, but steals the portable cycle right there with a few great shields. CS into the DP out. Meter is almost even, but 6 c will stop you from jumping and all the way into the corner. Now here's the Biakia corner carry coming in full force. No setup, there's the punish though, and can we kill here? We have 200 meter for the IW. We have chain shift, but it looks like we're not going to be doing any of that. Instead, going for something very simple, going for something that yeah, TRM kind of trust. And TRM, that's all it takes. Don't need to spend the meter. We still have 200 bars going into the next one. Jurassic, okay. Did not expect that to hit in the way that it did. All right, no web setup. We're gonna throw him back in. Web. Kyra's oh, back to him. Another one. Thrown once again, another web. Overhead this time around, Makaya great blocks, but getting thrown yet again. Are we going to see another one? Yeah, that was Makaya trying to FF, and they actually got a counter hit thrown out of it. So feels bad there. One interaction away. Throw does not kill, but any hit confirmed does. Okay, we teched it this time around. Makaya does have a lot of grid, a potential meter on hand right now if they choose to change it. Oh, or they try to no. deny the purple cycle from Jurassic Ori and holding on to that chain shed, dying with the meter on hand. Jurassic Ori going to be taking that set with a perfect, I believe Jurassic. <laughs> but here we go, we've been preluding to it. But no more need to prelude to this set any longer because the Enkidu Mirror is coming right up. What's the round start going to be? Immediate dash up from C. Curly already going on the offensive. Can we talk about how they have opposite colors? Like the Enkidu tattoo on Curly is the same color as Rock Salton's hair, and the color for <laughs> Rock God, Salton's right. tattoo is the same as Curly's hair. That's wild. They're alter egos. Yeah. Like, this is the dark version of... This is the... Uh, Rock Salton is the dark version of C. Curly. This is Shiro Emiya versus Archer. <laughs> well, nice block. That's spoilers. Wow. <laughs> I am the bone of my sword. You can't say that. That's spoilers. What if they haven't watched Fate? Oh, I mean, hey, they just uh, released Tsukihime in English. Go watch that. Go read that instead. Okay. Push all the way to the corner. Curly with another great start. This is the top 24 losers qualifier match. So loser does go home and only one can qualify for that top 24 loser spot. Oh, perfectly spaced. You saw how they spaced out that match from Rock Sultan and C Curly with the double perfect. Nice job to start off. Curly not liking being put down in loser's bracket. So we are seeing a loser's bracket beast right now from Curly. C Curly is like, sit down. Sit down. I'm the Enkidu that is going to be the moving on. I'm the stronger Enkidu. It's true. I mean, no, it's not just a battle of who makes it further into the bracket. It's a battle of egos. Yeah. You're playing against a, your own character. Yeah, I mean, Curly putting in the work right now. Does bait the throw with the assault oh, and no. caught mashing again. A no! third perfect for Curly. Not like this. Not like this. 
I know our stream, I know our production and our stream runners are crying right now as, can, as Uni2 no! continues to be the fastest game on the market currently. <laughs> no! Not like this, Rock Sultan. You have to find a single hit. Don't let it be four perfects in a row. Oh my god. Oh, we're going to get IW though. We're going to spend it. And we're, we're going to win the cycle. cycle. One more interaction. Finds the hit, finds the throw. One more hit. And the IW coming nah. out. Not going to be another <laughs> perfect for C Curly, but it almost was. Uh -oh. Rock Sultan yep. having some more hope, some more life. Breathe back into them, but the 6 FF from C Curly on a defense, and that will be the set win for C Curly with a dominating run in that set with a quick 2 0 to make it into top 24. Unfortunately, Rock Salton will be sent home, but you know what? At least it wasn't four perfects in a row. If, if, if Curly believed in that 2A, because the 2A hit, into and we'll be, see, we'll be seeing exactly how uh, Don Quavius uses that movement. To his uh to his full extent to really try and keep uh try and keep scrubs versus you locked down. Yeah, Seth is another character that can be hard to catch depending on what kind of kit that you have. I don't know how well Lene can really catch a Seth wanting to, you know, get up back all the time, backdashing out. So that'll be one thing Scrubs versus you is gonna have to go for. No! Oh, and the thing about that orb is that you, it only disappears if you hit it or if you hit him. Yeah. If you if he blocks an attack, it does not disappear. So well, you, you always you, have to respect it. You can throw him. Tech That's th true. Tech throw will get rid of it. When in doubt, throw him out. But uh, Seth is kind of your create your own combo kind of yeah. character. He has so many options. He can get off any single hit. Does he want to go for? Uh, does he want to go for corner carry? Does he want to go for a side swap? Does he want to go for damage? These are all the things that Don Quavius has to be thinking about when he finds any single hit. Yeah. There's a lot of variety to the way Seth can set you up on Oki off of a lot of his hits. You know, EXDP is one of them. You do 2FF into air reset routes. A lot of these are different things that you can do, but Scrubs versus you does find the hit. Back now, dash. Now Seth does have the lowest health. So Scrubs versus you does not need to find many good hits to clear out Don Quavius' health bar. Linnae also has very low health, so it could go either way. Yeah, but he's got the lowest. That's he true. He explodes. Like, he's almost right dead. That was like, what, two combos? Those two combos, and you're dead. Then that's dead. Yeah, we have plenty of meter. We don't even need to spend that meter regardless. And Linnae isn't really a high damage character either, unless she spends meter. She kind of relies on using meter with a C Kuga to actually get meaningful damage. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, the run up 2A counter hit. Both players with so much meter on hand. Does he know? Okay, the the orb does it for him. I thought that, I thought honestly I thought the infinite orb was gonna kill the orb with the the swing around. I thought so too, but you never really know when it comes to these things. Yep, EXDP out. CS the gap of the charge 5C overhead. Ooh, the assault over, but it's not gonna matter. The dash B does end up finding a hit, but another drop combo. Oh, what an anti air coming in from Scrubs versus you. Going to be building up a hundred meter here. Runs oh up. wow, it actually. Ooh. Makes it clean over, tries to go for a throw, but Don Quavius going for the reversal instead of avoiding the 2-2-C and the ore finishing the job for him. Yeah, great stuff there. Not dropping a lot of c combos though, so that really sets you up for a potential for you to take another Lene combo, like that one round where you kind of just exploded. Going back to characters left. Okay, we're just probably... We switch colors. Recouping, switching our color. You know, it's the color choice, right? It's true. Um, it's always, that's that's it's the most intelligent. important part. You gotta get yourself in the zone. You gotta, you gotta see yourself as the it's character. It's like it's like Aka players when you pick the squish color. You're trying to channel that. It's like Gordo players when they pick the Giuseppe color. We're trying to channel that. Oh, the orb off screen, finding a hit on Scrubs, and now Dunk Quavius here, finding a solid combo into the corner. But like I said, Lin a very fast character, like a rat, just squeezing out of that corner immediately. It's being very hard to catch in a general. Oh, and wow. trying to go for the crossover again. But what a 2A from Don Quavi. Didn't quite believe in it, though. Yeah, I didn't even know that was going to hit. I thought they would have traded at best. All right, we got to set up off of this. Orb. Nope, missed it. Missed the input. Feels bad. Doesn't matter. We get reset. What a back dash. Cross through, trying to go for the assault overhead, but a great backdash from Scrubs versus you. Chain shift to keep the pressure going. It's good blocks on these overhead assaults. The gold throw coming out, going to be tech. The 2C, but not going to get counter hit. 
tech from Don Quavius. And because of these techs, Don Quavius built up Wait. so much mirror to get Celestial. Not able to get that combo, though. But we're able to get the combo from this interaction here. Doesn't need to spend the mirror. And going to be securing their life, their bracket run here as they are in set point oh. with 200 meter on hand. This is going to be very explosive if we find the one good hit. Ooh, what a mash, though. Scrubs versus you, not done yet. But drops another combo. Okay, another chance. Do we put some meter on this? Maybe infinite worth? Yeah, for sure. Gonna be very plus. Are we gonna go for concentrate? What's God, that did almost yes, half of his health. Oh, wow, not a salt over at miss. And now Don Quavius out of the corner, swapping sides immediately, orb setting up. And there's, there's the force function coming out from Scrubs. Oh, no. Oh, that could have been really bad, but Don Quavius not in a position to actively punish it. The red miss and the punch from the 2C Scrubs taking around in their favor. Really great stuff there. This is really coming down to the wire, but now Scrubs has no meter. Punish from the cross through. Get the orb set up. Finishing off the combo into the IW as well. I like that. That's basically 5k. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's half of your health gone immediately. And this will also give Don Quavius wow. plenty of time to build up Mirror later in the round. As look at that grid that they're building up. Will they be able to use it? However, as Scrubs finds a hit into the full combo. Not going to spend any meter to end it off. But I think we're going to be spending meter on this yeah. combo most Infinite definitely. Word, absolutely. No, drops it. Nice 5A. Set 5A the GOAT. He gets, we know. He doesn't know. Oh, that's plus. Don't press. 5A doesn't work, but he is going to get the Vorpal Cycle here. No, it might not matter. It's not enough to kill. We have no meter. Wake up, CS. The Woo! throw! All right, Scrubs on the board. Yeah, wow. Really close right at the end there. Scrubs does end up cleaning it up. And we go into game three for one of the few times in this pool's block. That's crazy. That's a crazy thing to say. One of the first times we yeah. get to game number three, we actually get to see more Undernight from these sets. And it looks like both these players are going back and forth so far. Don Quavius, however, is really just setting the pace of all of these matches as he is just zipping around the screen, setting up those orbs, altering how Scrubs moves around the screen and how they can approach neutral. Oh, wow. The 2C after the jump over. No confirm, though. Don Quavius in massive control right now. Takes another round just like that, again on set point. 200 meter on hand, has his whole life set for him, has a house, has a wife, has some kids, has a car, and he is just rolling through life right now as that orb finds a hit. We can cash out. No, drops the combo. Ooh. 2A, confirm. Goes for the, the sneaky mixes. The sneaky mixes. Are we going to get a setup here with EXDP? Yes, we are. Orb, TK, got it. One more hit, has chain shift available. The wake up throw from Scrubs. The red oh, miss, the dead. DP, that's dead. Don't no. quit this, but we drop it. Double back dash is going to lose you the Vorpal Cycle. Scrubs has one more chance, but the 5cc from Don Quavius is going to put them in loser side, top 24, qualifying out of the pool. Well played to Don Quavius, being one of our few Seth players in general, and actually making it into top 24, looking real good at it as well. Yeah. But this is going to be... She in like 30 games of casual just an hour and a half ago. How'd you do? Uh, well, I mean, once I switched back to my <laughs> pad and not hitbox, it went much better. Loaded but, pressure, sorry. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> but from what I noticed, Ichi is very passive. And the thing is, Makai is also very passive. Mm. So this might be one of the longer sets that we see. Hold on. Patient Lene players? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, that's how Makai plays a lot. That sounds terrifying, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but we'll see. You still got to get against, uh, against the Spider Menace, um, and you, you're going to risk Spider Jail. So I don't know. We'll see either way. A couple green shields coming up from Ichi to start it out. And what a counter poke. We got the 2B coming out. And this, yes, yeah, side switch. All right. Not quite going to build the meter here, but we have the cycle. Yeah, we have a lot of grid, too. Jeez. And the 5C counter hit going to be a lot of damage. If there's one thing I saw from Ichi, it's they had a significant less drop combo percentage than every other Ryaki I've seen in tournament. So yeah. we're, we're somewhere. Even even Big Black had some Darren Pools. I'm not going to lie. I had, yes. I had a couple drops. He um, drops in tournament all the time. Yeah, it's, it'd be like that sometimes. Oh, oh 
Oh, in the grip break? Oh, no. What were we just saying about Draft Dog? What yeah, were we just it's saying? It's true, it's true. All right, but the so, Celestial is crazy. I was going to say, we got the Celestial. We got plenty of meter to play with. Big whip from the 5C right there from Akaya. Yeah, spend that CS. Try to keep this pressure coming. And you still got that web on the back foot just in case. Good tech on the throw. Back throw, too. All right, this could be the turnaround that Akaya needs. Able to take the cycle right here. Please get your legs opened up, and the grid break is what Makaya needs to come back into this. But as I said, the passive play is coming into effect. We only have 30 seconds left on the clock right now. That's, uh -oh. Oh, that's super funny. We were talking about how rare timeouts are in Uni 2 earlier, and uh, it's, it's just as close as we're going to get today, I think. Yo, Another one? Yeah, okay, so that is also what I want to bring up. Um, Ichi's has really bad shielding habits because I think they're OSing ahead of time. Mm. So if your throw timings are just ever so slightly different, you actually open them up a lot. Got you. So we uh, expect some grip breaks here is what it sounds like you're saying. Yeah, on both sides, yeah. They, right. they have a really hard time also shielding assault at the right timing. They pop a lot of grid shields on yeah. that. Or I green shield. <laughs> grid shield, green shield. Yeah. We, all, we all know what you're talking about. It's all good. All right, IW coming out from Makaya right here. Yeah, definitely gonna seal a cycle charge just for good measure here, a little concentration. What a back throw. I, I actually can't believe the, that range connected. Listen, Bayo, to be Akia, I think everything connects. You're so right, dog. You're Please. so right. Oh, we're oh. moving now. Here we go. All right, Makaya gonna get a counter poke. Still holding on to the cycle. Uh, just barely, I can build that meter. Okay, no tech out. It's Makaya all good. is not really one to go for assault CS either, so yeah. you'll almost never see that as a chance to open someone up. Wow. But that is one thing Ichi does. If you give the space and you give just enough time, they will press the 2B almost every time. It was annoying because I kept trying to do it to them. <laughs> but they also drop that every single Single time oh, to the TG no. setup with the punish on the 3D. Creeping edge is good, but not unbeatable. All right, here we go. One apiece. Game one. Looks like it's going to be going the distance here. Big one for 5C to start it out. Makai is still sitting. Pretty much max speed oh right God. here. What a press. Here we go. Lene button still as good as ever. 2C is going to mean you are going to the corner. Put the spider in jail as opposed to uh -oh. spider jail. That, that Never could mind. have been Put the worse. spider in air tech, but it doesn't matter. We get the 5 8 6 throw for the counter hit. Hey, there's the assault JACS. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> All right, and you just look at the 2B press. Uh, Makaya ready for it that time. That was godlike. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, how will you open him up from here? Uh, you got to be patient. Oh, interesting. Rip the VO right there. Just got the cycle, too, so still has CS on deck here if he chooses to spend it right here. There's the block. Spend the. Uh, the oh, 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 yeah, okay. Nice block. That was I amazing. Got yeah, I got, uh -oh. I got smoke there. Gives you another chance for VO. How are you going to use it? Put the web down. He likes to do that mid-screen. He likes to put the web setup instead of getting the dash up, push into the corner, okay. Interesting. Ooh, but the 2B. Yeah, mid-screen he goes for web after throw a lot, um, even though you can back tech out of it. I feel like you don't see a lot of the players do that, no. too. That's crazy. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. Recognize it. Sweep is, uh, or the slide, excuse me, not the sweep. It's definitely punishable. And Still not enough to kill, man. No. Lene does no damage. I can't believe that you said that on screen, dog. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Whoa. You still have to block that. Yeah, Maka I, that face? Yeah. yeah. My dog's just like, oh wow, that is you. Makaya has a lot of reactions like that. They're they're almost like they're almost like the tamer version of Revert. Yo, that's they're a like, good comparison. Yeah, they're like yeah. a mix between Brandon and Revert. That's funny. The Brandon reaction faces are like kind of yeah. unrivaled, but uh, yeah. Listen, I don't know what it is with Lene players and having their eyes pop out of their heads. Oh, I'm I'm gonna keep my opinions to myself about Lene <laughs> players, bro. All I'm knowing right now is Makaya is up one game right here, and I really I see what you're saying about the patient play, and of course now they're just okay. All right, all right, it's all good. Almost got the shield on the assault in. Gonna spend that CS and just playing the patient game so far. All right, we tech throw here. Yeah, I mean, it's just defensive play. No players are really biting on anything. No players are overextending. But again, you give him that space and he will press 2B or 2C. It is, you know, Biakia's bread and butter at that mid-range footsie game. Biakia 2C is like one of the scariest normals in this game. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. All right, here we go. Doesn't drop at that time. Yeah, and there's the tech. All right, we're out. Slight disadvantage state right there from Makaya. Ichi gonna take the cycle Boy. full meter too. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's, what? You want a 236C, not 623C? That yeah, feels so bad. That's ultra unfortunate right there. Surprisingly, Ichi not okay. We're guessing on the tech throw, but not guessing on the Kuga in the mid in the middle of the string with 236C. That's one surefire way to get out. All right, guess for game. Okay, CS, interesting. Yeah, ADP CS. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. That looked like jab for a second. I'm like, no. what the Yeah, hell? it's very right. similar almost. 
Oh, uh, yeah, 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 here we go, here we go. We have right. 30 seconds left on the clock. What is going on with these games? Yeah. Patient Lene players. That's, it's a scary thing. It's a scary two. thing. And still has plenty of meter, too. Like, next hit is going to make a big difference right here. And honestly, you might need to spend it. Just even up his life lead a little bit, but it's the back row that is going to take the frown from Akaya right here. Set point on the verge of oh, eliminating Ichi. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're starting in losers. That's yeah. right. I don't think Ichi knows that that follow-up is not safe. Right? <laughs> yeah, like, you could definitely just mash throw on it. Or just mash and jab. It's like, it all, it all just, like, takes your turn back, so. Oh, dog, how do you take every throw and then not take the yellow throw? I guess it'd be like that sometimes. It do be like that it sometimes. That's 10 like push-ups. That. Yeah. Oh, my God. We, we don't want to start that. Great use of the CS Still right gets there. the 100 meter back, too. Yup. Simply, you need to. Yep, another tech. This is the chance that they need to get back in here. The 60 gets clipped by the web, and you are going into jail. Let's see if Ichi does not mess this up. Okay. I see what you mean about these uh, shield habits from Akaya. Like, if, if Ichi starts just doing the 5A uh, the checks right there, yeah. you can potentially catch a green shield really easy. That's easily. why I was doing it too, but they were never throwing it. That's the thing. Yeah. If Ichi kept thinking about throwing it, and they would do more 5As or 5A, 2A, try to tick throw, but it's like, I already showed you my shield once, I'm not going to show you my shield again. Yeah. All right. Still going to hold on to the cycle here. Yeah, there it is. Spends it. Oh, okay. Oh, All right. My Jesus God. Christ, the back throw game right now. Kind of OD. Makaya going to be eliminating Ichi in our first game of top 24. Okay. So, loser side bracket is. Oh, we're, we're already getting reports too. So, Vicky is also an yeah. Akka. Andre is also an Akka. Saw quite a few of them in the pool yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, both these characters got the parry, obviously. Uh, where. I don't know, dog. I, I just get 6FF. Uh, flashbacks from Enkidu, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of that. Strong option, might as well abuse it whenever you can. We're getting right into it. No button check required. Nintendo. Puerto Rico represent. Oh, and 6FF yeah. to catch the back dash. No armor needed, just straight forward moving footsies. Oh, oh wow. Mashing. Meaty, too. And chose to go for the tick throw. There it is. All right, got to get the full confirm here. Uh, holding out to the cycle. Got plenty of meter. I think we're going to spend here? No. Uh, well, they're not even going to get a chance to spend, but neither player is blocking right now. Mm -hmm. So we're going to push to the other corner. No. Go to the mid screen. Knock down with 5AB. Smart steer in there right there. Yup. Make that Tatsu save. Jump into A. Oh, okay. Is that a punish? Yes, sir. This is going to be more than enough to kill. RK0. Able to launch the meter for next round, yeah. too. I really like that. That's uh, definitely a big advantage here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, B Wrecker round start for all three of them to connect oh, was not on my bingo card. No, I was but, not ready for that. You know, we're here. We're not blocking. Uh, I didn't pay $60 to block. Mm -mm, no, no, sir. And neither did I pay $60 to block 30 frame overheads, but you know. No, 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 no. That's, uh, we DP those in this house, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I, we parry those. Aka players, I parry. Yeah, that, yeah that, parry. that's fair. That's oh, fair. you got out flitzy by the 2B, and that is going to be game one to RK0. Make it short and simple, infinite worth, and ending it with a perfect up 1 0 right now. I'm loving the patience here, too. Like, you, when you think Enkidu players, you don't really think patient, right? You're, like, trying to wild out, get some gorilla going. But, like, my dog is blocking out all these strings, finding the right spot, and just poking out every time. Well, yeah, and that's punish. a punish. Yep. Oh, you see that big uppercut? You know a big punish is coming. Should be able to carry most of the Oh, yeah, all the way to the corner. We yeah. get that. Enkidu has some pretty funky corner carry off. So they go pretty far in the Hurt Fox attraction on 6C. And this is uh, the Uni 2 I've come to know and love. Oh, We're yeah. barely 20 seconds in, and Nintendo has, like, no health. No health. Not enough for you to and do anything, dead. and you're dead. No! no, not if you drop it like that, dog. Oh, right, but you got frame trap. trap. Yeah. Oh, man, Nintendo, like, is just not, it doesn't have the patience on defense right yeah. now. Just getting frame trapped over and over <laughs> again. I, I don't know what is happening today. <laughs> Something about NQ players just brings out the worst. I mean, best in us. 6FF six, six connects once again. Another drop into a reset, dog. Y'all you, you, need to stop dropping combos. Cookie's going to lose his mind over here, big dog. Oh, he threw okay. it! That's yeah. how you counter it. You throw it! Finally. Oh, but you're so <laughs> dead. Unreal. 6FF out of the corner. And salute, another Uni 2 speed oh, run has been no. done. It's RK0 2. Yeah, if you, if you, if you, if you uh, play into the gooning meme anymore, I don't know what's going to happen, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah. Held it up to the wrong camera, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, there oh, it is. There it is. Ah, yeah, there it is. You got yeah. it. You got it. <laughs> All right. That'll, that'll be an image soon. <laughs> yeah, it sure will be. What is it with Lene players and having faces, bro? Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know. What is it with. Mm, never mind. <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're gonna hop right into this. I gotta stop talking smack about Lene players, dude. Nah, I, we, I we, actually we don't do hate it. that character like some people do. We, I just like playing into the meme. We could do it. We, we could do it. 
All right, so this, like, for as common as these, relatively common as these characters are, I feel like I haven't seen this matchup a whole ton. Um, Pace-wise, how, other than, like, Fireball and stuff like that, how's Kinect going to get in against uh, Lene? Well, the thing is, is that, okay, never mind. Exactly, is, that is the way. 5B so, pickup? Yep, okay. Nana we'll in this version, a lot of her, like, mid-range Fireball game did get nerfed, like, yep. in frame data-wise, but she's a much better, like, mid-range footsy kind of character, because her buttons are just better, and, you know, 2-1. 2C one, is scary as hell. Yeah, 2C, yeah. and 2 one, four getting, you know, Train data bumps across <gasps> the board. Oh no, the fade away jump back from Connect. Yeah, we're going to the corner, boss. Oh my yeah. goodness. All right, James, are you going to sway? Are you going to DP? How are you not going to block? Oh no, he's blocking? Oh, let's go. All right. That's my dog right there. Block it out. Get yeah, that patience. The thing is, JC's DPs aren't going to work in a lot of these situations, except for that one. Except for that one. Uh, point because a lot of Nana's OG situations are very safe, like almost safe jump ish, and right. that's going to be the route. Yeah, the, the way she can play this facing game on her Oki is very scary yeah. to deal with. Yeah. So if Kinect starts reading that Jaisu has a habit of DPing, then they'll just start you know, playing that footsie game or even putting down the 2-2s two at the end of their uh, combo to there secure something. 6-FF, the autocorrect on the wrong side, though, from the double jump. That feels bad. EX Fireball to continue the pressure right here and just gets thrown on the empty jump for his trouble, Jaisu. Oh, nice. what a run out! And you ran out too far. Yeah. Gets your backdash caught by Sword Car. That is a habit that a, not, a lot of Nana player, players will take advantage of. The Sword Car is so good. So good, yeah. I mean, uh, I think we've all been smoked by that on rank once or twice, no doubt. I know oh, I know. Yeah. yeah, there it is, that vertical DP. Oh, this is so okay. Ooh, hello. <laughs> you see that? Connection's laughing it up over here. Yeah. Like, yeah, I know, I'm sick, Cause bro. Because the, the autocorrect went the wrong way. Yeah. That feels bad. Feels but bad. to Jaisu, this is Aegis. Okay. <laughs> Dog, you're playing with fire. Uh -oh. oh, goodbye, Connect. Oh, oh that's the round. Con Wait, is that Jaisu? No, that was that was, that said please connect. Oh, oh, that might be Jaisu. That might be Jaisu. Oh, Jaisu, how about you connect your controller? Oh man, that's that's unfortunate. Snack box moment on stream. That's crazy, dude. And hopefully that will not happen again. We will see if J2 is able to claw this back. Dog, you got to win neutral real fast. You you got to get some corner pressure going and not let Connect get okay. out. Okay. Otherwise, you're gonna get a sword card. Immediately up. get your Charge Kuga baited by backdash sword car. Man, Feels good, crazy. yeah. Oh, just barely missed the confirm right there. Show, showed the shield, but bro whiff. Little scary situation. Frame trap. Another one. Okay, we're gonna take a turn back here. Respect to the chain shift. I don't hate that. Yeah, you might as well. What? Yeah, respect to your dome getting cracked. Oh. Who swung the sword right down and could her on the head. All right, did you start up? Yeah, you can DP that. Okay. Locked the low at least, but got hit by the next hit. And this, what do you think? Not going to build a meter. Oh, he's dead. Oh, yeah, now it is to spend CS. Yeah, yeah, of course. How could I forget about CS? Well, it's because a lot of people, <laughs> even in this version, still don't have CS in the middle of their combos down. Yeah. So it's like, once you start learning how to CS in the middle of your combos, you can get that meter to, to you know, get that kill. It's really important. And lawn players don't count because you freeze someone for free. Yeah, I don't. Mm -hmm. I, I can't even say that anymore. I'm a lawn player now. Uh -oh. That's crazy. So you're you're part of the problem. Yeah, almost definitely. I've, I've never claimed to not be part of the or problem. Where you can CS mid mid combo, no problem because you just put them in freeze and CS. I can do that on CS sometimes. So carry <laughs> two two C to go through the projectile using your tools. Projectile invulnerability on Linnae's 2-2-C. Get me out of here and nice! There it is. Button press. Oh, there's the VO. We are out. One more. Oh! I was worried that wouldn't hit. Do it again. Oh, that's a punish. J2 finally able to get something going here. All right, listen. Finish your combo, then throw his ass on wake up. We'll, yeah, be, we'll be ready for it. Throw, throw. You saw the green shield too, J2? Uh -oh. oh, no. Uh -oh. It's Jover. Hurt friends. box extension DP. No. Called it. Read like a book, J2. Deep breath. Get yeah. the composure Finally going. found a round. He found a way to get through the fireball pressure. That was an interesting run up option. You can tell he's locked in because he yeah. made faces yeah. in the camera True. this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, ready for the sword card? That's my dog right there. Two C for the punish too. And we're going to carry to the corner. All right, let's go. Let's see what Connect oh, has. Oh. Almost caught it. There's the grid break. That's what I want to see more from J2. Okay, that's going to guarantee the cycle right here. Probably going to be able to build the meter, but might be giving a little too much space right here. Uh-oh, yeah, that one would have been scary. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. the 5A is the goat. 5A always anti-airs for no reason whatsoever. You got caught pressing. Oh, no finish on the combo there from Connect. Oh, never mind. Yeah, this might be trouble right here. Connect. Okay, we take the throw, though. Good stuff. J2 dash blocking. Does not want to run into this projectile right here. Understands that any hit could get him vortex very quickly. 
All right, has to block the projectile. That means it's pressure time. Backdash, make a little bit more space. Okay, okay, here we go. Uh -oh. Fireball connects, but we do not confirm the combo. Still has the cycle, though. Yeah, neither player, JC's putting some interest towards it. 2-2-C is going to connect. Not enough to kill. Does not have meter. Throw kills, though. What Yo! A, you almost had that. J that was that was such a good play, but you were not ready to get the punish if it worked. That's unfortunate. All right, just needs one more hit. J2 probably could afford to eat one right now, but like I'm, I'm trying to control the cycle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and this one is almost going to time out. There's TTC. So smart, dude. He is ready for that. I'm full projectile involved yeah. right there. Oh, there's so, the yeah, face. We're do it. He won, so he did the face. Oh, that's it. It's Jover, dude. <laughs> it's Jover. He's locked Jover. in. Jover. One apiece right here. Oh, using all the air options right here. I like connect patience right there. Lesser non say players will like try to commit to something, but nah, we're we're gonna we're gonna try to block it out. Yeah, if there's one thing, connect is really dedicated to that mid to long range fireball as mm. an entrance game. I can see that. And that is yeah. one of the things that Nanase really got hurt by with the changes. Wow, nice frame trap with the sword car. So I really want to see Connect go in and play a little bit more footsies. Because 5A, 5B, 2B, 2C are all great footsie yeah. buttons that Nanase players can really use to their advantage. We saw that pulled a little bit. The 2C press outs uh, some of these Nanase players were doing were well, kind of kind of brave, but kind of sick at the same yeah. time. Going to spend the meter. Yeah, and there's the VO. OK, so I forget. That four, that's still formal trip, right? But my eyes no, it doesn't formal trip anymore. OK, all right. I'm tripping, I'm tripping out then. Well, not mid-combo, but yeah. It'll vor it'll vorpal strip uh, as neutral VO. Okay, you can't so that's what I saw yeah, then. You I was, can't like, strip and combo I was anymore. pretty sure J2 had. Yeah, I, I knew the combo yeah. that took that out. But yep. all right, all right. Got to get my got to get my game going here. Whip 2B right here and just play the hit and run game. I like the patience here from uh, from. Connect. Oh God, that was scary. All right, two two C is an option right now. There's the DP. Yeah, yeah good read. This is scary. J2 just lost the vorpal cycle off of that, but gets a throw. Wake up CS. Not. Mm, yeah, there it is. All right, back going to the corner. Connect is on set point on the verge of eliminating yeah. J2. In that situation, you got to be scary for the four. four okay. <laughs> Two yeah. and four round start, but you got to be scary, scared of the four frame throw option out of CS. So you can typically jump to get over it and bait out of stand tech or things like that. Nice throw, half health for J2. That That's is not a frame punish. kill. Not oh, the frame kill he yeah. wanted. Oh. No way. Joe so oh. just barely missed it. Like the last. Oh, the hitbox went right under oh, that. That was so crazy. Though. All right, All you're right. gonna spend one bar on this. Maybe JC spends two though. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, get the super right here. I almost want to see J2 hold on some of that meter for the uh, the projectile involved stuff to deal with uh, Nanase if she gets away. But oh, it, it did it CS right there. You were gonna lose the cycle anyway. Might have wanted to take the meter right here, but dude, then this there's this, this not even a life lead right here. This is too close for comfort. Both yeah. sides, honestly. It's very slow as well. Ooh, the run up dash throw. J2 gets run dash forward or run jump forward. What? Couple whip throws that J2 just hasn't punished so far. Is gonna steal the cycle. Doesn't need to spend the meter to win neutral this time. Doesn't have it, obviously. So this is one more hit away. Yo, throw. I'm begging you, J2. Throw! throw. Woo! No, J2. you thought you're gonna get punished off of that. Throw into the corner. What's the option? Don't get hit by the DP. Nice 2C match from J2. J2, throw. Please, I'm begging you. Big, big part of strike throws you need to represent throw. 30 seconds left. Connect it does have the cycle. Plenty of meter on both sides. And it's the 2-2-C two, two once again. Big sigh relief from J2. Yeah. Final game, final round. Once you jump there, you are committed. That's plus. Oh, That's a gold throw. Yeah. All right, J2, we're going to enforce the push up rule after this. I got to say, it has done a good job of blocking the mix-up up and yeah. down there, though. Very consistent with that so far. Oh, wow. That throw hit from way too far away. I'm saying, bro. We're, this is Grand Blue out here with this throw range. Oh, gets caught jumping, doesn't get jailed though. Nice run up, rising JA. Nice tech that time. Oh. Missed the throw, and yeah, we are going to get punished there. All right, connect. Still not going to get the cycle though. J2, we might see a wake up CS right here. Cash out the meter, spend it, blocks the overhead. My dog was ready there. There was no reaction. That was, I think you're going to swing high. I like uh, the match from Connect right there. Realize they showed J2 the shield, and new J2 might try to go for another tick throw. Yeah, Again. you got air blockable. Tried to go for another tick throw, so he immediately went for the 2A mash. I really like that from Connect right there to react to it. CS to keep the combo going. That's the fifth or sixth 2-2-C two, two that's hit, like, in a row, basically. Listen, Jason bro. Very if it ain't that. broke, don't fix it! I'm Speaking saying. of don't fix it, we are fixing up a Celestial combo right now. Are we going to get a CS that's going to work? No, we're no. not. We got so much meter, though. Awkward. Oh, Plus. spend it. It's coming back. Nice oh, tack. good tack. Here we go. And Jason's going to steal the cycle. Oh, this is huge. Drops the combo. Oh. And there's the DP. My guy came so close to. Yo, there it is.
That that was that was legitimately a very close set. That was a uh -oh. very very close set. Jaysu right at the end gets hit by their own Kryptonite. Oh, okay. But the hammer. All if right. if there's one player right now who's not obviously Ori that I think has the stuff to take it over Argon, it's Veil. So what you're saying is it's Mika time. It is Mika, Mika time. All and right. uh, for all the Gord players in the chat. You're not taking my color just because I'm learning this character. I don't wild, care. Wild, dude. Oh, I okay. put in the chat that I was learning Mika, and they were like, "We're gonna take your color, dog." That's and I'm crazy. like, "What are we talking about?" I play, I play Equatorial Wave. No one is ever gonna take that color. I, I never have to worry about that. Um, yeah, that we is saw a green color. Holy hell! Yeah, he's. I mean, look at that. That's that's. This is Shrek right here. We got Shrek yeah. on the screen. Um, Arjun, I think, lost one game in pools from what I saw and gave us gave the camera the most evil look after and ran it back. This wall team is a problem. Bro. Yeah. Argon uh, has always been one to wear their emotions on their sleeve. Oh, Why did yeah. you press after that? Sometimes you got to take a chance, dog. And right now, Arjun does not see, <laughs> doesn't need to take any chances right here. It is God press to go to the corner. We have CS. We're going to spend it. Bada bing, bada boom. No. Oh, it drops. Dog, Bail has another him. chance. Don't get 368. Nice yeah. press with the 2B. Six Framer is going to get the side switch. But now you have to guess on a potential reversal here. Okay, yep, spent the CS right here just in case. Ooh, did he press the green shield? Interesting. Yeah, All he right. shielded the normal and then immediately pressed after. Did get the car counter hit. Argan is going to take round number one. Pretty convincing. Slight stumble there when you let Vail get out of the corner, but instant stabilization right here. Just good footsies. Okay, let's go. Don't be in that range, bro. Mika can play a little bit of a hit and run game right here, but when you're in this position, just getting God pressed back and forth, getting 360, yeah, that's a rough spot. Yeah. This is the hard stuff now is where you need to play the guessing game, but uh, you just fumbled the first game. Argon is going to take game number one. Oh, wow, okay. No way, oh, dude, no, what? Way. no way. You jinxed him, bro. Uh-oh, commentator's curse. You jinxed we got the so comeback. Hard. We have no meter on the side of Argon, so you really need to guess here. Okay. No guessing required. <laughs> uh, six to three A, the kryptonite of every single person fighting bald in this version. Only minus three and like six frame startup. That's crazy. Yeah. I didn't realize it was six frames. I knew it was fast. Very I didn't realize it was fast. six frames. That's wild. Yeah, and Argonas has been using that very consistently, um, even throughout pools. Uh, Anti-air potential, too, is kind of crazy. Okay, okay. That was mad minus. I was going to say, that looked mad minus. My goodness. Still sitting on CS right here. Not using it to the firm. Happy to keep the corner. All right, there it is. Continue the pressure. Overhead connects. Yeah, we, we just going to get spun on right here. Yeah, there it is. DP. Thank you. Going to get the turnaround. Pretty much the same situation we saw last uh, last game, actually, when, uh, when Bale got off. <laughs> Minus the CS right there. Okay, we're going to assault in, get the throw bait going. Let's yeah, get it. That was a really good ADP there because um, you can actually mediate and make it plus. This should be enough to kill as long as you don't drop your combo. You only need to spend one bar. This is this is the only weakness I saw from Arjun in pool so far was the overcommitment to the high shield and yeah. the low shield. Got good break in a surprising amount. Um, if Vale could find a way to capitalize on that, I, I think that's going to be their chance. Oh, I love that JC right there and keeps the other side. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You love that invincibility right there. Yeah. And by love, I mean, I hate it. I mean, 360 was still on the purple cycle uh, for Veil. Uh, but three, 360 C and meter reversal in general got better because of the change from one frame super flash to four frame super flash. Did you see how active that was? Yes. That was crazy. That's oh Got them goodness. big meaty claws. Oh, yeah, that's true, dog. This, this character is something else right now. Yeah, yeah we're gonna we're gonna get the punish. Absolutely. Argent saw that one a mile away. Has a hundred meter. I don't think we're gonna see the spend quite yet. I right, just yeah. god press. Yeah, yeah it's god press because this sets up corner right here. Um, 360A won't kill. Oh, You're such a no. masher, though. Five frames gets the side switch, messes it up. Woo! What is going on? I TP? We were, I really thought we were going to see the green shield punish right there. That was too close for comfort. Uh oh, yeah, you don't want to do that. I, I, okay, yeah. yeah a little bit of wasted meter, but you kept yourself safe. Not safe enough. It is the 360 that's going to do it. Arjun, one round away from yeah. qualifying for top eight. What? That's a great start. Neutral jump, charge JC is going to push a little bit of corner carry here. Are we going for a reset? No, just got pressed. God pressed. Keep it easy, dog. Like, it's working out so well for you in these scenarios. Oh, oh speaking of working out so well. well. Hell yeah. Get that creeping edge coming in. Can we talk about how messed up that name is, by the way? And that's yeah. also my favorite thing. I will say that 25,000 oh. times this block. VO to get out. 
Nice throw. Okay. Don't get hit by 360. C. Nice. I like that usage of the meaty there. This is going to run out the veil off. Yeah, that's kind of massive for Arjun. No meter right here. And you lost the cycle too. They wanted 360 C. Absolutely wanted 360. Yep. Absolutely, Absolutely wanted 360. That feels so bad, but you have another chance to guess for game. Just do not get your CS baited in an awful way. Okay. All right, we're going to take oh. that. Green shield. Yep, you're still plus. No way. And the jump in just connects clean. That wasn't a punish. You just got hit by something, and that is it. Arjun, 2-0 over Veil 47, our first top eight qualifier. You see he's already got a couple medals on already. Yeah. Trying to That's fun. We got to see some NQD earlier, too. We'll see if uh, we'll see if we can wild out yeah. as hard as we did earlier, but I don't know. I have a funny feeling this big black cat is going to be able to uh, to check the pressure a little more consistently. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We'll Man, see. and then Kidu coming up. We didn't, uh, we didn't get a chance to see a lot of it early, but there was a bunch of it in pools yesterday. Um, so I'm excited to see more coming out here. Oh, yeah, the hit scan, that new move coming right from the ground. Big Black coming off to a pretty early lead right here. Are we going to build the... No. Yeah. All right. Oh, wow. Can't Gets quite... the throw punish? Yeah, couldn't quite put him in spider jail off that route, I believe. Oh, okay. No cancel? Yeah, yeah there's a DP. I think so. Yeah, no cancels in strength work against VB a lot because he's actually a very passive defensive player. Yeah. So you can actually find several risks and ways to overextend that are pretty safe against VB style of defense. And that was what back in wow, you're dead. Back in so 2023, dead. what Pesto and Death or Pesto, Pesto and Deffy did a lot against VB yeah. was overextend and take those risks on his defense because he doesn't press anything a lot of the time. And Deffy was one of the first ones to really crack Big Black uh, offline. Uh, I guess and online to a certain extent too, but like, same thing, like just exploiting that passive game plan yeah. can go a long way. Added a lot of throws, a lot of no cancels, anything to switch up the mental game. Yo, rare footage of uh, Big Black being caught with a frame trap right here, but it is the immediate turnaround with the run up assault. We're gonna take that, keeping the cycle too. So in pool, Big Black got Celestial like six times in one match, dog. He is, <laughs> he's so good at controlling the cycle. Very well might get it here too. Let's, uh, let's take a look, cycle's coming in. Oh, oh no, big 2C. Just barely missed Celestia right there, but it is not gonna matter. 200 meter on deck. That's dirty, that's yeah. dirty. And that should be more than enough to kill. Pending any drops, Big Black might not even need to spend the meter for it. No, I gotta yeah, spend yeah, one. Yeah. Only spends one bar though, doesn't go for the infinite worth. Doesn't need it, dog. Look yeah. at that. Locked I mean, in. he might have needed it. And Kidu got a lot of health. That's true. I, I do always underestimate Enkidu's health uh, health count. For sure. For sure. Oh, no. There's that no cancel again. Yep. Uh, B-Rod able to take a turn back. Yep. Exactly like you said earlier. That is one of the ways to exploit Deppy's defensive habits. Or not Deppy's Big Black. Wow. <laughs> Keep getting that mixed up. Like you said, Street Fighter <laughs> Underdine. I say Deppy Big Black, you know. I didn't even pick up on that low key. I'm like, yeah, just spin, bro. He's in a pod. He's in a pod. <laughs> There's a lot of damage, though. Viraj here off to a great start. Does not have the Vorpal Cycle, though. Watching the overhead oh. and finally getting checked on the throw bait right here again. No! You cannot drop that against the AI, brother. You, you are going to come to regret that. Let's see. Plenty of meter on both sides right here. Wow. Oh, and there's the throw. No, we, we are not going to regret that at all. B-Raj not only holding on to the meter, we're going to take the round off the back of that, too. Oh, my God. This 6-6-B six, six round start immediately gets out. Flip seed with the 5-B. And you are going to get put in a web setup. Spider jail, indeed. Here we are. And just, yeah, check with the 2B, keep okay. it meeting. <laughs> and then there it is. All okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> just charge 3C, the overhead drops the combo, though, like every Byakia player in tournament does. Die. Gonna get the side switch here. Oh, all right. That's That's dive kick after. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll take that. We'll take that. Get off me, bro. Don't even try it. So you want the purple cycle off of that? No! You still committed to the jump normal when he cs it. You know he's gonna shield there. You're gonna lose the round for it. It'd be like that sometimes. Sometimes you dial it in already, and it's just like, yeah. well, I, that's on me. That's on me. We've all been there before. All right, Big Black taking the turn back. Oh, 2C actually catching. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we got the meter. You're going to jail, bro. 2C caught at the stagger. You're not going to jail just yet. No. Nine. I'm surprised that actually worked. I'm, I am shocked, actually. That's crazy. All right. CS, oh. yeah. Ready for it that time. Respecting it, at least. Yeah. Okay, okay. Just at the right time, gets the counter hit. This time we will see Jail, maybe. Yeah, there it is. All right. You got you got hit mid-screen? 
Right to jam. Nice tech, though. Wow. Still wins the Vorpal Cycle. Not going to spend it just yet. Gets the back throw into the corner. Oh, we tech that time. There oh, we go. And that's a no. counter hit. Here we go. Uh, what do you think? You is is Big Black out to one up? Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, you're definitely dead no. here. It would not be a Biakia player if they did not drop their combos. Okay. 5A off the tech. Yeah, yeah. Easy. Easy yeah. dump for Big Black right there. Oh, my goodness. And B-Raj, that's one of those scenarios where you're like, yeah. dog, I made it out in winners. I only need to win one game and lose to secure that top eight. I'm going to take that out to Big Black. Damn. I'm not going to let deals like, I feel like Akatsuki, especially in this version of the game, has that robbery factor too. Yeah. Where like, oh, yeah. you drop in the wrong spot, you're going to get Akatsuki real quick. Yeah. And that's just how it goes some days. All right, here we go. Getting right into it. Ori, of course, on the Biakia. Vicky Viper on the Akatsuki. Black and the Axe kick right, to, right up the bat. Oh, yeah, there it is. Dash C. We saw Big Black using that a lot more in pools. Still a potent option. A little bit of a commitment. Yeah. But. It's really good against projectile characters because it throws basically a projectile exactly. of his own out there. So you can yeah. catch people wanting to sit back and fireball. Um, interesting option there with the, the front throw, back throw uh, into the jump over. Oh, I love that stagger. All right, dog. Oh, uh oh. And this is the drops we were talking Side about right here. here. You're going to get oh. the punish. Oh, speaking of drops, Vicky Viper got a big one of her own. Yeah, Vicky tried to go for the harder side switch route where you have charge Katsu, but you are going to fumble the round off of that by giving Ori another chance. Ori's not quite meaty timing is really interesting. We see like micro dash in, minuscule yeah. hesitation into the 5A has caught Vicky Viper quite a few times. Yeah. All about throwing off that timing on defense. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. no. Do not whiff that parry against my girl, dog. You can't do that. All right, you are going to get put in jail here. Right to jail again. All right, throw mix up? No, no, kind of gets to the low. Okay, all right. I see a lot of Biakia's do meaty 2-2x because it is a low, um, and it really stuffs a lot of approaches because Biakia doesn't have to extend himself. Exactly. So you can avoid a lot of DPs by doing it. And I, it's a strong option for sure. I still can't believe they gave him another strong option. This yep, the game, dog. Got to CS that to make it oh. safe. And continue the pressure. No conversion on that overhead. Oh, double dive kick. Yo, the patience from Ori. Oh, oh I'm loving it. No. I'm loving it. Call me McDonald's, baby, because I am loving it. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Um, I mean, that's that standard Biaki play. That's not yeah. really that crazy. Um, that's a, that's a web doing all the work, and I'm carried. <laughs> Speaking of carried, the J2C over the 6-6B. Not going to finish the combo, but another frame trap is going to work out here for Vicky. Mm, all right, finally able to get the offense going a little bit. Like a green shield right here to force your back, and there it is. There's the regular one. Or you're going to get the side switch, steal the cycle off this. Hasn't had to spend CS here, and has a very good chance to take this next cycle as well, especially if you're in spider jail. Set it up. And just wait. And yeah, just wait. Walk up and wait. We've already seen Perry, uh, Vicky represent the parry a couple times yeah. so far, so Ori's definitely going to want another punish on that. All right. Well, the question is, do they go into spider jail off of this? They're going to hit just under 150. Okay. We are putting it there. We have the three web set up. Gets for game. Just yeah, well. you're just dead off of well. that. Yeah. And we're Wait a minute. It. That hit the ground bounce. Ooh, actually, yeah, you're not going to get anything off of that. We could. No, we're not going to spend the CS right there. players dropping combos. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, into the reset. Ori was ready for it that time at yeah. least. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Pushing all the way to the corner. Vicky does have a 200 bar, but we are going to put another one down here. All right, jail again. Uh, Ori, oh wow, that almost cost you the cycle too. Kind of very lucky to get away with that. Vicky has 200 meter right here. Oh, that was okay. definitely a miss it, but there's no way you want a 2-2-C well. there, yeah. No way 2-2-C was intentional, but hey, it'd be like that sometimes. Now you gotta go to the corner and that mistake will absolutely cost you. Here we go. Gonna hold on to the cycle and gonna play a patient and safe on wake up once again. Oy. Represented the green shield, but wow, got the back row in the corner. All right, all right, Vicky. Oh, try to fuzzy him, but you can't Get fuzzy Biakia because 2B is the GOAT. Yeah. And Ori is gonna book their ticket in the winner's side top eight. All right, so all, all of my top eight predictions so far have, have come out exactly how I yeah. thought they were. We have Argent, Deffy, Big Black, and now Jurassic Ori. Wait, am I? That, he's not dead? What? What the hell? Dog. What, did, what happened? What did the replay miss? on that? What did I miss? Yeah. What? What the hell? What even? I'm left, and we got games to play. Listen, bro, we got people to explode, and if there's one person I know who can get it done, Curly, Curly. can definitely do insane amounts of damage on the Enkidu. We saw it yesterday where they almost did four perfect straight on stream, 
and missed it right at the last second, but still won four rounds That's straight, crazy. three perfects. That's crazy. Vale, though, had had the beginnings of something good against Arjun. I think Curly's going to have their work cut out for him. Definitely doable, but if, if Vale is on point enough, things could get dire fast. There's the wall bounce. Should be some decent carry. Are we going to the corner? No, we're saying right here. Mika's corner carry is very, uh, very hit or miss. You need to know uh, the exact routes and where to do them. But right now, we are in the corner. Nice shield. Uh, oh, yeah, that's not going to work. It's a grid break. I don't know why you committed to shield right after uh, that, but it'd be like that. Yeah, that's, that's going to cost you right yeah. there. Curly not going to get a perfect this round, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Vale is going to be taking that first game. Holding on to all that meter, too. That's crucial coming into this round. There it is. Get your butt back. That's my I was parry. talking about that with Andre earlier. Curly likes to do 6FF into immediate parry to catch you. Doing whatever, yeah. but 5B is going to counter hit the jump. It's going to be a lot of damage. Are we going to put 100 on it? I thought all AQD players did 6FF at the parry, dog. Yeah. That's my ranked experience, anyway. My ranked <laughs> All right, Curly looking a ton better in this round, and right as I say that, Vale, this might guarantee Celestial. That's the scary part right here. Spends the meter. This is going to get some decent carry, decent damage as well. Project 4K doesn't confirm the 2A right wow, there. Wow, that didn't break? No, no, not quite. Able, must have been into blocks down, I yeah. think, right? You saw the yellow throw. Oh, nice Good shield. block. Oh, no. Not getting, uh, not blocking the follow-up, unfortunately, but... Here it is. Yeah, CS, make that as safe as possible. Thank you very much. Oh, nice shield. Oh, the 5 in reach. You got to press 2B there. Absolutely. But it's not going to matter. We found another opportunity and some corner carry. 100 on it. Bing, bang, bong. There it is. Jump shield. Uh, yeah, you got Oh, They tried it. They tried no. it. Oh, you're dead. Uh, you fumbled. I, I believe that is what we call a fumble. Yeah, 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 yeah 100%. Fumbled, that, is a, that is a fumble moment. Um, and they help talk. Dude. Look at that face. Yeah, right. Look at Curly's face right now. You see, you see that furrow, the furrow brow right there. That's yep. that's okay. But the hair game kind of goes crazy. Right, the, the hair game is pretty nice. The bandana is a nice touch. Yeah. I, like the, I, I think the color goes well with the shirt. A drip no goes big crazy. deal. Yeah. Drip or drown out here, and only one that's South kidding. survive. Yeah, Ooh, you can't get yeah. a confirm off of that. A little too high. Great job from Curly there to to you know. Yeah, good recognition back. on the punish for yeah. sure. We're going to block this whole piece out. Oh, with the 6FF and the dash in for the wall bounce. This is almost exactly how we saw that last game start, oh, too. Oh, the combo. Oh, wow. Yes, run up throw instead. OK, it's basically a combo worth of damage right there. We'll take that. Oh, oh the walk back. We are playing. I lied. This is Street Fighter, dog. You see that walk back to whip punish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Yo, 6FF, but no confirm. Oh, 2, two B does whip. 5B again. OK. Oh, no combo. Wow, we are playing floppy. And you're wow. dead. Oh, yeah, you get a combo off yep. that, too. On top of getting the grid break, you are absolutely dead. And once again, takes the round and holds on to the yep. meter, dude. Vale's keep, mm, keeping this as optimal as possible here. Oh, 3B as the low crush option does end up beating whatever Curly wanted to do. We're going to go to the corner off of that. Great knockdown. Woo! Oh, there it Still is. Active. Havoc, baby. Oh, yes. All right, get the cross up on here, too. We're going to do a little bit of a side switch action. That's going to guarantee Curly the side. Are we going to spend the meter? Yes, sir. Give me that damage, boy. Oh, oh yeah. what a fail off. All right, recognize the charge up set. This will hit. No big deal. Fail 47, more like fail off. Mail. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody needs to stop you, bro. No, I can't be stopped. <laughs> he is unstoppable, almost as unstoppable as Chain Shift Mika right here. It's oh, Mika time, bro. Get the it's, it's Mika time. It's Mika time, bro. Sit down. Get out. This is my top eight now. That was cute that you thought you made it this far. It's Mika time, though. I'm going to keep saying it. Mika it's time. Mika time. Run up, grounded 360 Woo! to open him up. Vale with the plushie is going to qualify. Loser's top eight side. Um, and I, that's that's speaking of 2-2-C, two, two I have a funny feeling we're going to see a little bit of that in this matchup right here. Anything you could do to get around this zoning that Hilton could spit yeah. out, you got to take advantage of that. Slush Rush had a rough draw on winners. I'm going to yeah. be honest. That's, that's a rough matchup. But we're getting right into it, Losers. This is your final chance for both players to qualify for top eight on loser side. I know this is one of the matchups Makaya has labbed extensively. Uh, and I know they have Good. a lot of experience against the Hilda by the name of Karma. And if Karma, you're listening oh. right now, you might be the reason that Makaya lives or dies right here. That's it's crazy. all on you. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Calling out the chat, too. I don't know. Right nice now. Nice shield, though. That was clean. Gotta get Celestial off the back of that, too. God dang. Yeah, but now you're getting hit here for 50%. They're gonna set up a Roomba. Clean it up, baby. Clean up the rats. Here we go. Overhead gonna connect. Yeah, just, just gotta block it out. Yeah, just gotta punishable. hold it. No, yeah. Not punishable, but that is unsafe. That is going to be taking your turn. Nice! Gets the TRM. 
Here Go it again. Is. Gotta be scared about you gotta be scared of the dive kick. Yeah, I was gonna say. We saw the green shield for a hot second there. I thought I thought Makai was gonna force that through again. But... Here it comes. Here it comes. Yeah. Bail off. Oh, the, is that, wait, 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 wait. Hill, hill, the hill, hill the players? Hill the players, Kryptonite, bail off. Out of the corner? I don't know, bro. Looking for it, too. You yeah. saw that? Yeah, looking for it with that CS. Oh, but gets double clipped by the six speed. No, no finish, though. Anyone can take this game right now. That's, yeah, it's going to take your turn back. Ew, that shield is scary. Mm, green shield kind of No, the, the 2C mirror. does connect. Makaya taking round one in a nail biter. With a sliver left, 25 yeah. seconds too. Like we, we, we were, we were kind of talking some smack about how fast Uni was, but like I'm impressed with how far we've been able to extend these rounds. Yeah. Some of these players. And with Lene too. Listen, oh. bro. I mean, suddenly against Hilda, sometimes you just got to do blocking simulator 2024. Ooh. Speaking of which, that that might be exactly what we see right Hizzle. Oh, drops oh, it. Yeah, yeah, you do that for the side switch, but ends up dropping it. Roomba is in play. Nice backdashes from Makaya, though, because it puts Roomba out of play for a little bit longer. It is still going to come forward, though. Really? That's that active? My goodness. I could up my Hilda game, dog. That's crazy. Here we go. <laughs> All right, Makaya is still very much in the driver's seat right here. Going to hold on to see us. Another super. Might as well just spend it. And this, no, not quite going to put you out throw range. Yep. But <laughs> one more hit. There it is. Rising J.A. C.S. Say goodbye, bro. Makaya. Yeah, sigh of relief. One more. Let him know. Let him know. I got the confidence. I'm going to do it right now. This is it, baby. This, this is, is another CFL representative. My bias is oh, unwieldy. Oh, man. That's crazy. Here we go. I'm going to have to start talking to this Hilda player up some more of that, huh? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, Check some more momentum. Looks like on the dash block a little bit. And right now, yeah, just play the zoning game, dog. Yeah, you don't try to force it. Makaya's two C presses have been a little too strong for you to play in that range yeah, right exactly. there. Yeah, exactly. Oh, speaking of which, finally gets it, gets the whiff punish. That is exactly what I want to see out of Slush Rush. Here we go. Yeah, you're going to get another Roomba set up off of this. Are we going to fumble it? No. Pursuit is not to go for Roomba. A little side switch oh, action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's okay though. You're still still in the driver's nice seat. Nice three D yo cool. system mechanic. I thought You're, that got caught. Yeah, I thought it did too for a second. But it's not gonna matter. The CS cycle is going to go to Makaya. Bail, there it is. All right, we knew we would see that bail off eventually. Finally represented. Yo, no, it doesn't have the meter to kill, but this but is Roomba's gonna be still rough. gonna come. By the way, you still gotta set up here with Roomba. Here it comes. Oh no, he's gonna oh. cross up on the other side. She's still sitting on Roomba. Still sitting on Roomba. Oh lord, he coming. All right, Slush Rush finally puts one on the board here. Has a chance to tie this up against Makaya. But dog, oh, there it is. Okay, finally starting to check these yeah. button presses from Makaya. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I'm loving this adjustment so far. Slush Rush is definitely willing to press 5A and 5B. Those are some of the two. Oh, nice. Bail off to catch the, the FF2 or FF2. Um, but yeah, Slush Rush is definitely willing to press those buttons as Hilda to get these players off. Wow! No punish! No punish on the guard thrust. It's going to be opened up by the low for the grid break for good measure. Uh, <laughs> this might be a rough spot. Teleport out. Easy as that. 4 two, one Get the hell out of here. Oh, man. That feels bad. That's such a common thing, too. Yeah. When they do overhead in the middle of your dash block, but you're already down backing because it is your dash block, you get clipped by the overhead. Play, play around the meta, right? Yeah. That, as simple as that. Hill, when Hilda players start thinking, dude, it's over. It's over, man. Sitting on the life lead right here, 50 seconds left. Has the cycle. Oh, yeah, that's that a punish. Be punish. Yeah. I, didn't actually, I didn't actually know the frame data on that because I've never seen a Hilda do that on block. I'm, I, yeah, I have no idea what the actual frame data is, but I knew that was punishable. But man, here we go. Slash, slash, big, uh, big proponent of backdash, too. One of the Hildas I've seen backdash the most. Yo, that's true, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I you don't really see Hildas do that. All right, huh. Something I gotta look out for a little more. Here we go. Holding this whole pressure. Not risking on the dash block. Cognizant of that overhead. The Roomba's coming back. Oh, there it is. All right. Still not you gonna still be able to do this next setup, by the way, because it's gonna come forward. That's right. Oh, that that was dirty. That cross up was kind of dirty. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. So, in that setup, and, and this is where I'm gonna rely on your knowledge a little bit, when you teleport, that means you still have to block the same side, right? Or, or is that not a you side can, switch? So, when the, gloom, when the gloom is coming out and she yeah. teleports, you can still down back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure exactly how yeah. that worked. Okay. That's good to know. All right, here we go. One apiece right here. Makaya, some of that confidence yeah. might be wavering. We'll the, see. The only thing is you still, she still overheads you if the glim is hitting you, so you still need to block high. Right. Yeah. Well, of course. Of course. Okay. 2C checked again. You see that startup. My dude is still looking for it, and we are still getting caught. Slush Rush is about to sweep, my guy. Teleport again. Scary because you're in the corner. You get pressed on right here. Yeah, there's a DP. I think so. Is that force function? Oh, it, oh. I kind of look like it, but we are out of here. Makaya does end up scoring another hit, but the drop. 
That's a, oh, no, active enough. Okay, we're going to take it. Yeah, I don't uh, know what they tried to do there. Maybe Veil off. Maybe thought they had enough time for infinite worth. Not going to get it, though. Secure the Vorpal Cycle. Maybe don't get caught by a shield. Okay. Yeah. Oy. There it is. There it is. Finally get it. I was worried if you'd see the IW, the IW there, excuse me, but I, I like holding on to the meter here for the kill. And there it is. Say goodbye, Micaiah is on set point. Yeah, and they still got the 25 cent, re or 25 cent, 25 meter refund because they are in the transfer state. So that's great stuff there from Micaiah, but another hit from Slush Rush. This set is gonna go the distance. Whee! No question at this point, no question right here. Yeah, that's, you know what? Sometimes you get frames at full yeah. screen. It'd be like that. Some, Hop in there. Yeah, pressing on pin is a little bit scary, especially at certain spacing. Nice 2-2-C! Two, two Was that the first one we've seen yes, so far? First, My goodness. First yeah. one we've seen that is a high. You do have to block that high. Mm -hmm. Oh, guard press. Okay, does connect that time. No block shenanigans. Makaya, got to hold on to the uh, the chain shift right here. 3-D. Some good 3D. Doesn't get punished that time. There's the reversal. Sit your butt back down. Almost catches the back dash. Yeah. You see that? Oh my goodness. No, the 5C does connect. Does Luffy have enough to kill? No. But yeah, go for the gloom setup here. Uh, We're going to take that. Just get in a little bit. Make some space. Try to get your way out of the corner right here. Yeah, force it back out of 2C range. Thank you. I'm expecting a 3D from Makaya like at any point right now. Uh, and Slush Rush might be too. It's like some of these daggers are kind of telling. There it is, baited, and that is going to be. Oh, wow. Wait, that didn't even punish? It, no, I, I, heard, I saw counter hit. I didn't see punish. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Yo! My goodness. You called it, bro. Final game, final round, and Makaya is coming out swinging. 200 meter on deck. A big 2C starter. And of course, you know we're going to spin around like the Bay Blade Blade. IW coming out 4,700 with the BD, and we are getting thrown right out of here. No veil off necessary. Gets oh, opened up high, still wins no. the Vorpal Cycle. No combo off of that. Nice block on the pin, though. All right, another Roomba setup is going to come out. Nice blocks from Makaya. Yo, Kuga? Great. Wow, that was a scary trade. He's a fuzzy masher. Oh. Yo, but Makaya still won the Vorpal Cycle. No way. No way. You did You did say Slush was a masher earlier. Yo, so absolutely. To see Gets it. caught by the 6 6 -E. Not enough to kill. Going to need one more. JACS, will we do a kill combo? Not going to be able to get that opportunity. Nice take throw. One more. We'll take it. There it is. All right. Doesn't even represent the throw. Yeah, pop off. Pop off. Leave that chair where it is, though. Don't think about throwing that. Oh, there it is. All right. <laughs> Do doesn't even jump up nearly as much as I thought. That's okay, though. Makaya, after what well, came in on losers, right? That's how it is sometimes. So, um, was able to get some good takeaways out of that. Like we said, had a good game plan going into it. Wouldn't surprise me if, if he has a good understanding of the mirror, too. But we'll find out right now. Jesus. The double dash block round start, but you still got opened up by a 30 frame charge 5C overhead. Not, not hit by that one. Frame oh, trap, wow. though. Yeah, frame trap for days, bro. Oh, that, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Counter press. Here we go. B Raj does know when to press. Got to get the smart steer ender. Chain shift. Try to bait out some kind of option right here. That is and very is. negative. Yeah. yeah. I think they thought they would maybe get the, the meter for 2 2 C. Oh, but you're a master. And RK0 with a simple combo will be taking round number one. All right. Pretty convincing start for MK, for MK, Jesus. For RK0 Jesus. right there, I'm, dude, I'm struggling right now. Did he start the same round? The, the, uh, I'm tripping out. <laughs> and, and Kidu players are different, Whoa, man. That, that. that was clean, all right, able to catch it. Yeah, we take it that time. No push-ups for you today. Parry the charge. Yup, good recognition. Where are you going, sir? 5A will be catching your back dash again today. Put 100 on it. Push to the corner. No. He might be going Ooh, home. Oh, he got his back dash again! Dog, the only place Biraj goes going right now is home with yeah. this. Oh, my goodness. We're backing him out of the stage with a perfect from RK0. Up 1-0 over Biraj and one game away from loser side top eight. Staggers coming out again. RK0 not over committing on round start this time. Okay, yup, lock the high. Ooh, that was a freaking scary whip, yeah. dog. I was quite sure we're gonna see a whip punish there. Oh my god. Viraj by the counter hit 2A. This might be what they need to get back into the set. Okay. Yo, you you had you visually. Oh, you could have. Mm, all right, no big deal. You gotta push past it. Gotta push past it. There it is. The parry sits about back down. Has the cycle right here, but does not have an opportunity to spend it. Yeah, but we get corner parry off of that with the six six C. Push all the way into the corner. Stagger, yeah. Little tick throw action. No big deal. Doesn't catch the back dash from RK Zero. Okay. Yeah, we play a Street Fighter again, dog. Yeah. This is like weirdly kind of the Street Fighter match. <laughs> Just two dudes with fists going at it. Oh, speaking of fists, that was their feet, actually. 
Nice back what a dash. back dash. There it is. B-Rod. No, and you dropped it. That was the round, dog. You can't throw That's that. That's how he fumbled against BB. Okay, okay, okay. We're still in there. We're, We're still, still in chilling. there. With another big back dash, yeah, by the way. Yeah. Oh, I'm tripping so hard right now, dog. This 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 set <laughs> might give me a heart attack by the end of this. I might have an aneurysm, but I'm not yet. Not yet. b Rod is the only thing that's cooking right now. Yeah, he just did FF. Again, what'd he you say? 6FF six six FF into Perry? That's that's the classic. That's that the classic. classic. Even NKD players run into that. RK0 does get the turnaround, though. Are we going to spend, yeah, spend the meter? Staggered the Yo, stare all down. the shields in existence. Even B-Rod is shaking their head like, what yeah, was that? Yeah, that was, that, was, uh, that was aggressive. That was an aggressive shielding right there. No, sure. where are you going? Nice catch on the jump over with the 5A. Not going to be enough to kill? Uh, no, no, not even with the meter. You're right. Okay. Oh, my that will God. be, however. That is going to be big trouble. And this is set point for RK0, yeah. dog. This is where it all comes down to everything. How are we going to approach this? Assault JC does find the mark. RK0 off to a huge start. All right. Oh, there's a check again. These cats are swinging, dog. All right, Smart Seer into back dash into the corner. Actually works out this time. There will be no throw. There will just be a punish. RK0, two more hits, basically. You need two more hits to punch your ticket for top eight. There's one. There's one. You don't have the meter. Just get the regular knockdown. Take a deep breath. Take your cycle. Yeah. Doesn't okay. tech the gold throw, 10 push-ups, don't get hit again! And the counter hit, 5B is gonna put RK0 in top eight loser side over b Raj. RK0 won the mental game at almost every yeah. stage there, dog. At almost every stage of that. Punished, punished the, the, the back dash into the yeah. corner, and then laughed and said, now this is how you do it. This is how you let me, do let it. Let me show you, let me show you. This is how you do it. Yeah, exactly, but great stuff from RK0.